floors with over 20 laminate styles like American made mahogany for just 49 cents a square foot. More than 30 bamboo floors like carbonized bamboo for only $159. And over 150 hardwood floors like pre finished gun stock oak for only 99 cents. With a dollar off Bella with 20% off Dream Home laminates. Plus great floors, wood like tile, final and more. With 24 month special financing. The fall flooring kickoff sale is going on now. Visit lumberliquidators.com to find a store near you. From the creators of Courageous and Fireproof comes War Room, a powerful new film about fighting life's battles in prayer. This is my favorite place in this house. I call it my War Room. Because prayer is a powerful weapon. War Room, now play. Starring Alex Kendrick, Priscilla Shirer, and Beth Moore. We need an army of believers. Raise them up, Lord. Raise them up. Rated PG. Parental guidance suggested. Tickets and showtimes available now at warroomthemovie.com. A federal appeals court says the Supreme Court can keep protesters off its Marble Plaza without violating their constitutional right to free speech. Since 1983, the Supreme Court has interpreted the law to allow protests and other displays only on the public sidewalks surrounding the building, not on the plaza itself, which is closest to the nation's highest court. A challenge sent the matter to a lower court, which declared the restriction to be unconstitutional. But now the U.S. Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit has reversed that law lower court, saying First Amendment rights stop at the sidewalk in front of the majestic courthouse and do not extend to the plaza itself. Linda Kenyon, Washington. Defense Secretary Ash Carter says the Pentagon is funding a new venture to develop cutting-edge electronics and sensors that can flex and stretch and could be built into clothing or the skins of ships and aircraft. This is SRN News. The Pentagon has confirmed that a leading ISIS recruiter has been killed by a U.S. military airstrike. A spokesman for the U.S. Central Command confirms British hacker Junaid Hussein was killed earlier this week by a U.S. military airstrike in Syria. Hussein was believed to be a key player in recruiting Westerners to carry out lone wolf attacks. He was also responsible for releasing personally identifying information on U.S. military and government employees and urging attacks on them. Wally Hines reporting. His plans for Harvard have been put on hold. A jury in Concord, New Hampshire has cleared a graduate of an exclusive New England prep school of rape, but convicted him Friday of lesser sex offenses against a 15-year-old freshman girl. Former St. Paul's school student Owen Labry, who is 19, could be sentenced to as much as 11 years in prison. More details available at srnews.com. I'm Keith Peters in Washington. Are you excited about the World Wide Web? Do you want a place where you can share your ideas and express yourself? Well, dial up your modems and stream on down to the GCN Live Community Forum. Lots of radical features await you there. Wow, Internet guy. I am so glad I went to the GCN Live Community Forum. You too can discover why the World Wide Web is awesome. Just go to GCNlive.com slash forum. That's GCNlive.com slash forum. I'll see you in cyberspace. Space. Friend at GCN Live on Diaspora and Cross.tv. We the people grow cotton, we fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit, then carting to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Yes, and you're doing it on the air. It's Free Talk Live. Our uh, toll-free number, we'll give that to you. You can get involved here on this radio program, talk about anything that happens to be on your mind. Coming up, the Ashley Madison hack. More information. People have been digging around through that data, and it turns out it was a sausage fest. We'll give you the numbers here in a little bit. Um, With you in the studio tonight... You've got Ian. Cecilin. And Cantwell. And, of course, uh, you can join us via Skype as well. Uh, we'll give you that contact information here in one moment. Now, Chris, uh, you had a story tonight that you wanted to tell us about. Uh, it's way too long for an on-air read, but why was it so motivating to you? Well, I um, it was a, a piece at Breitbart um, 
about the title is Rise of the Cultural Libertarians, and I thought it was interesting at first. I shared it, and I was I was a little put off by it because if you if you look at the featured image on the article, it's got pictures of people like Bill Maher. Bill on Maher, it. not a libertarian. Yeah, and so anything that that assigns the label libertarian to Bill Maher, you've got to you know do some thorough inspection of, obviously. Uh, so, but I, I read the piece that it was sort of enjoyable, and the thrust of it was basically, um, you know, there's there's a backlash against social justice warriors, against the the politically correct nanny state censors of the world, and I despise these people on a molecular level, uh, and so. I, I actually I shared the piece yesterday, and then today there was a, um, a video came out by Lauren Southern. She's a, a candidate for office with the Canadian Libertarian Party who uh, had a run-in with the social justice warriors up there, and uh, she was talking about it. And, and it I at first liked the idea of assigning like cultural libertarian to the people who were going after the cultural Marxist, right? I liked that idea at first, but then it sort of took this and odd A cultural term. Marxist is what? Cultural Marxists are these people who sort of say that we all um, – they, they don't like the um, diversity of opinion, shall we say, that everybody's got to sort of accept this, this set of politically correct opinions and everybody's got to be on the same page with that. And if not, we will run you out of polite society, if not lock you up and take all your property away. So the cultural libertarian is someone who's going after the cultural Marxist? Yeah, that it's a rejection of this PC nonsense is kind of the thrust of the article. Okay. As you mentioned, it's it's sort of a, a long read for the air, but the uh, that's that's the thrust of it, right? Now, when Lauren Southern puts out her video about it, she starts going into this sort of like nobody should be silenced sort of thing. And that is something that I maybe sort of turn against it. So I've got a, a piece on my uh, – it's on the front page of my website right now is not, not sure or unsure of um, cultural libertarianism because – um, my idea would be that the problem with the cultural Marxists is that they're factually correct, intellectually dishonest, um, and entirely too often willing to resort to violence. That's my problem with these people. Uh, not that not that they use tactics to silence people. If I had the the if I wielded the economic power to boycott social justice warriors into starvation, then of starvation they would die. Well, that seems a little harsh. But, yeah, it's meant uh... to be. But as far as like people not being able to say what they want to say, if you're on private property, then you obviously have the ability to control people's speech. And I think that there are entirely appropriate times in which to do that, right? So uh, I would say that, of course, but I would also say that like this phenomenon that you have with the social justice warriors is is like these ridiculous meltdowns, calling everybody racist, for example. Okay, so every every perceived thing, uh, every every perceived privilege, they they will go after people and and. M defame people as racists and bigots and homophobes and misogynists, right, uh, over absolutely ridiculous, uh, falsely perceived incidents of bigotry, mm -hmm. right? And this happens all of the time. I mean, look at Gamergate. It was just so ridiculous. Like, people are like, oh, the, the, the games are sexist and the gamers are sexist and it's all misogynist. It was stupid. really hard to get a wrap, my uh, head wrapped around what Gamergate was. We did talk about it here on Free Talk Live when that was happening. I don't know if it's still happening happening or whatever but my understanding of the gamergate thing was that some gamers were harassing allegedly some some women journalists game journalists well that's what it turned into because what, what happened was there was it was it started off as a conversation about journalistic integrity okay so there was there was um there was there was an accusation that a woman was um sleeping with like game reviewers or something to this effect right mm -hmm. and and there was some there was some implication that uh, was she herself a game reviewer, or what was her deal? I think she was a developer, okay. is my understanding of it. And so, um, but but what happened is they're talking about, look, if she's trading sexual favors for positive reviews, this mm -hmm. is a pretty serious problem for journalistic integrity. integrity. Sure. And this turned into a conversation about misogyny. And and it, it totally overswept the entire original question of it, and they just said, all gamers are sexist, and the games are sexist, and there's not enough positive female characters, and all of this crazy... Nonsense that had nothing to do with the conversation. Hmm. Cecilyn, what do you know about this Gamergate thing? I know we've gone astray from this, uh, the main topic. We'll come back around. Uh, it's 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 silly. Um, you know, personally, if I don't like something someone says, I either tell them or I don't listen to them. Mm. I walk away. I block them. Whatever. Uh, I, I play games. And yep. I hear, That's I'm I hear, yeah, I know. Uh, I hear misogynistic or like rude things all the time. Get back in the kitchen, blah blah blah. And then I kill them in the game. I totally Pwned. own them. Pwn them, yes. Thank you, misspelling internet. <laughs>
I pwn them, and then they shut up, and they go home, and they cry to their mommy. <laughs> and that's the girl. end of it. <laughs> I don't see what's so hard about not being offended about everything. Yeah. It's ridiculous. I mean, there's going to be trash talk in a video game. That certainly uh, is true. I mean, they're going to pick on whatever they possibly can. Right. You know, if I if I have trouble running into walls when I'm trying to run and shoot, yeah, make fun of me for that, but my genitalia has nothing to do with it. This is true. Right. And well, it does have something to do with it because what what has happened now is that like look, you've got a thing that's been uh, it's been traditionally dominated by males, okay? And then there are women in the space and men are going to make commentary about the women being in the presence of this traditionally male dominated thing, right? And then when they make that commentary, what happens is, now you handled it well, okay? But what you what you have is this phenomenon of people coming in and saying, "Well, no, now uh your traditionally male dominated activity, you have to change everything you do inside your male dominated activity or you're all bigots and misogynists hmm. and that's been a that's but that's well, something that i just absolutely cannot tolerate i these people drive me crazy and 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 i'm not the only one right and so that's what this idea is behind cultural libertarians who are saying no you are not going to come in and and um you know destroy what it is that we're doing here okay we're enjoying ourselves and we're going to fight back against your cultural marxist nonsense that you've got to get us all on the same page with your feminist pc hysteria Sounds like we need to create a safe space for women gamers. So, uh, yeah, I've let st- them run back to the rainbow room. I'm sick of this safe space nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> Go cry your eyes out somewhere else. You know, I, I like this is, and this is what it is, right? And I mean, I, I don't think that I'm going to meet a whole lot of resistance on it in this room, right? I mean, we're people who talk for a living, so mm-hmm. we, we don't take kindly when people tell us, you know, try to censor us. But, um, you know, this this obviously happens. I go through this all the time. I'm banned from Facebook right now. I talked to you about this that I posted a a stupid meme of like a of Zimbabwe guy with piles and piles of money talking about I will burn my money those white people never answer my emails it was like a reference <laughs> to those like Nigerian email scams right and I get banned for this for racism it's ridiculous right how crazy is this yeah. I mean everything about Facebook right everything is equality and pride and yada 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 and uh, you know you could get reported for anything on Facebook and any perceived incident of any type of insensitivity can get you kicked off the network for 30 days and for a guy like me that's a pretty serious problem because Facebook is traditionally driven like 70% of my web traffic, and this is what I do for a living. So I'm still a little unclear on a cultural libertarian. Is Bill Maher actually a cultural libertarian? I, mean, I think the reason that he gets inserted into this, and I don't know if you're familiar with like Maher's work, but for all yeah, his, I've seen his show. For all his leftist nonsense, he does reject the like political correctness stuff. He's trying he does okay. he, he does go after these, you know, PC hysterics and censors who are trying to tell people that they're not allowed to talk. I see. And so that's sort of why he got lumped into it. So of course, you know, Bill Maher is a raving socialist nutcase, but at the same time, he's he is a free speech advocate, right? Right? He's mm-hmm. he's not a guy who says that you can't have a conversation. So in the area of culture, they're suggesting Bill Maher is a libertarian. Is that right? In the context that they're using this, uh-huh. he's a cultural libertarian in the context they're, that they're using Got this. It. But I also like. I almost feel like this is almost like we, we've had the conversation about the thick versus thin libertarian or like the humanitarian versus brutalist libertarian where it's like, all right, are we going to say that this is just not aggression principle, do what you want as long as you don't hurt anybody, or are we going to insert a lot of other nonsense into it? And I felt like they were starting to go in almost like a thickest direction. I have a problem with that. All right. I want to hear more about this. Uh, you're welcome to share your thoughts at 855-450 free. And then there's a story Cecilyn brought in that's sort of related, I guess, regarding communicating the ideas of liberty. Maybe. All right. So you can also bring up anything that you want here on Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE, or Skype in at username lrn.fm. Every once in a while, you get information that's worth changing your life for. This is one such time. You can save up to and beyond 25% on all purchases at Amazon. You probably heard of Bitcoin and just not thought much about it. You certainly know that you can get competitive pricing at Amazon, but now you can get a 25% discount on nearly everything you need to live. I've just given you a huge raise, and all you have to do is claim it. You go to purse.freetalklive.com and open an account. Do this right now. Don't wait. Then you fund the account with Bitcoin. You can buy them through expresscoin.com with a check or money order. There are other ways to get Bitcoin, but that's fast, safe, and easy. This information is worth you changing the way you do things. Go to purse.freetalklive.com right now and get signed up and cash in on the huge raise I'm offering you. 25% 
25% off of everything on Amazon through purse.freetalklive.com. It's purse.freetalklive.com. That's the sound your brain makes when you realize you're buying something and forgot the coupon. Online or in a store, knowing that you're missing a deal is the worst. You need the app from Retail Me Not right now. Get thousands of coupons from 50,000 stores like Kohl's, Domino's, Best Buy, and more with crazy deals like 60% off, free shipping, and free gifts with purchase. You can get a text invite to download the Retail Me Not app 100% free right now for Apple or Android. Just text the code UPDATE to 42767. Then just show your phone at checkout to save. It literally couldn't be easier. It's 2015. Keep your coupon bonds in your phone. Stop what you're doing and text UPDATE to 42767. Listeners will get a text with a link to download it 100% free. Never forget another coupon again. Text the code UPDATE to 42767 right now. That's UPDATE to 42767. Message and data rates may apply. For terms and privacy, visit RetailMeNot.com. Okay, open your mouth and say ah. Ah. When your child has a sore throat, you need to know when to get help. The doctor recommended Say Ah Sore Throat Exam is your solution. The scientifically designed oral retractor offers a clear view of the throat, relaxing the tongue and minimizing gag reflex. Compare with a medical grade chart, website, and app. Then you'll know just what to tell your doctor. A wellness plan in your hands in minutes. Go to sayahhnow.com. Sayahnow.com, the new mainstay for every family's first aid kit. As if chlorine in our water weren't bad enough, now they're adding ammonia? It's true. Some municipalities are now adding ammonia plus chlorine to your water supply. It's a disinfectant called chloramine. But with a trusted Big Berkey water filter, you can keep chloramine out of your water. New NSF EPA certified lab tests show EPA Berkey water filters remove chloramines, pharmaceuticals, BPA, pesticides, bacteria and viruses, all forms of fluoride, and much more. Big Berkey water filters are the original and most trusted on the market. The gold standard in water purification. And our filters last for years at less than two cents per gallon. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get your Big Berkey today. Call 1-877-99-BERKEY or click BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. That's 1-877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. This is Dan Pillett. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Now more Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live. You can join us here. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. 855-450-3733. We also have Skype. You may Skype into the show at username lrn.fm. Uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies. That's what readers of freedomsphoenix.com get every day. Readers of freedomsphoenix.com are constantly provided the detailed real news that lies between the lines of propaganda and the relationship we have with coercive governments. Freedomsphoenix.com offers up-to-the-minute updates on the economy, technology, communications, and the rise of the police state. Go to freedomsphoenix.com. Sign up for their free daily dispatch. That's, again, freedomsphoenix.com. Uh, tonight in studio, it's Ian. Cecilyn. And Cantwell. Uh, so, Chris, you were uh, telling us about this article from Breitbart that is about cultural libertarians, the rise of cultural libertarians. You use this term, uh, cultural Marxism to sort of use as a counter to cultural libertarian is like this is what the cultural libertarians are fighting against. Cultural libertarians is the backlash against cultural Marxism is the thrust of the idea. So what why I asked initially for clarification in the last segment about that was it was a little confusing to me like you know Marx is this uh, communist philosopher if you want to call him that or whatever 
and it kind of distracted me from what you were communicating. And so I like the term they use here in the article. I was just sort of scanning through it. Cultural authoritarian. That seems yeah. to be more communicative of, of what that means, right? Like Because, you know, not everybody listening knows who Marx is or, you know, what his history is. But maybe more people know what authoritarianism is. I'm just... Take it a shot yeah, certainly. Them. I mean, look, cultural Marxism is a buzzword that certainly any conservative is going to understand, right? Okay. I mean, they, you know, anybody who's talked to these lunatics before, um, they're they're all over the place. But certainly, uh, if you if you don't understand cultural Marxism, then maybe uh, cultural authoritarian will uh, ring more bells. So it it says here in the story, uh, cultural authoritarians from both the left and right occupy most positions of power in government, academia, and the media. Both argue that art and expression can be harmful. And so essentially the cultural libertarian would be arguing the opposite of that, that more art, more expression, even offensive art and expression is a good thing to have. Yes. And I have a tendency to want to go with that, of course, right? Because mm -hmm. I'm going out and creating very offensive content in no shortage of circumstances, right? right. At ChristopherCantwell.com. At ChristopherCantwell.com and on Radical Agenda, my podcast. I, I was about, on there yesterday, by the you, way. You certainly were. It was, uh, we, we have, uh, the episode is up there uh, right now. It was a now. good show. Yeah, I thought it was. Anybody that uh, really likes Dave's calls, Dave from New York's calls to Free Talk Live, uh, he and I had a little fun last night. Yeah, we certainly did, and then, um, and then, but then I had to hang up on him and berate him because yes. he's repetitive and annoying, and I—that's more or less what happens every time Dave calls into Radical Agenda, which he happens gets from berated time to time. and hung yeah. up on. Yeah, because yeah. he has got—he repeats himself too much, right? And I'm like, no, you gotta, you gotta respond to my point, and he right. just says the thing that he called in the first words over that came out of his mouth, and, and I'm just like, no, you're gonna move on. I'm not gonna let your dysfunctions run my show, lunatic. So go and grab that episode at radicalagenda.com. Is that radicalagenda.com or iTunes or Stitcher. All right, so that got us distracted from where we were going with uh, with this. Okay, so the thing is that yes, I am I am certainly a guy who is, and I've and I've been kicked off so many different organizations, outlets, and publications, right? right. And I'm and as I mentioned, I'm banned from Facebook. So I'm I'm certainly these nanny P, these nanny state PC censors and hysterics. I despise them, and I'm very happy for anything that goes after them, right? However. If we're talking about a thing that um, what you started to say there is that, um, you know, media and culture like can't be harmful. Right. And that's what it, they started to sort of go through. And I disagree with that vehemently. And the cultural authoritarians are proof of that in my book. So you've got these people who go out and produce all this, you know, political correct, hysterical media that is completely bogus. It's complete nonsense. And you can give it as much reason and evidence and facts as you want. And it, and it doesn't care. It's completely detached from reality. That stuff is so toxic and it's destroying uh human civilization as far as i'm concerned these people are enemies of the human race and so i would say that um yes media can be dangerous and toxic and 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 uh it, oh it's absolutely worthy of being silenced well i mean th that's the thing though right like it can be dangerous and toxic but as long as they have their own platform they should be allowed to have that they sh they don't get the right to use your platform you know if you don't want that to be promoted at christophercampbell.com certainly that's your property of course. you get to you get to decide that but i mean when you say silenced what do you mean so, I mean, I've been, as I mentioned, I've been kicked off a number of platforms, right? right. I mean, I was suspended from this radio program. I've, I've been, uh, I was uh, kicked off a of voice for men. I, you know, I used to get published by Lou Rockwell. He won't even respond to my emails anymore. I mm -hmm. mean, like, you know, I've been run out of a lot of things. Cop block. I mean, it's, it's crazy. And I get angry about it. And people always try to make it like a free speech issue or something like that. And I'm like, no, it's not a free speech issue. It's fundamentally a property rights issue. But I still think that a lot of these decisions were wrong decisions because what I'm saying is worth saying. Uh, now, if people are um, – and there are basically – there are people out there who have the idea in their head that as – for libertarians, like the, you shouldn't – like it's just supposed to be a synonym for inclusivity, and I think that's ridiculous. Yeah, I, I tend to agree with that. I mean libertarianism is, uh, is a concept that's based on a principle, the non-aggression principle, the idea uh, that you don't use aggressive force to achieve your political or social goals. Uh, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't exclude people from a group because, you know, for whatever reasons you want. I mean, you should be able to have whatever kind of private group with whatever rules you want to have. You know, exclude anybody that you want to because, you know, being discriminatory in who you associate with and who you spend your time with or who you allow on your platform, for instance, is a good choice. We discriminate here on Free Talk Live, even though it's a mostly open phones panel discussion. Anyone can call in about anything. So we're, we're less discriminatory in that way than most talk shows. But we still reserve the right to boot your butt off the air if you drop an F-bomb or whatever. 
So I have, I have nothing to disagree with here. This is very unfortunate that I'm agreeing with Chris <laughs> Cantwell and not having an argument. Yeah, there was with Chris there was a, there was a little bit of a lead up to this show because I've got I've got Cecilin. Cecilin is hysterical. Cecilin. I'm an entertainer, man. I, I blocked Cecilin on Facebook a long, long time ago. And we, we didn't realize that we were going to be in this studio together. Oh. We thought it was going to be a nuclear meltdown. Maybe there could be an unblocking and a hug before the end of the show. No, I don't, I don't touch know people. about that. But, no? I don't like yeah. I heard you hugged me. Graham Colson once. That's, oh, that's because that's someone repulsive. paid me. Someone gave me Bitcoin to do it. Ah. I got free Bitcoin for it. It was like two seconds. It was the easiest work I've ever there's a, done. There's a word for that. I mean, I went and took a Would scalding you, wait, wait. hot shower afterwards. This is another but... thing you guys agree on. Uh, Graham Coulson is a, a local activist here in the Keene area. He's I think you meant to say scumbag. Controversial. Uh, a lot of people don't like him. Deadbeat. He's not a controversial Loser. activist. He's a criminal and a scumbag. <laughs> attention seeker. If he was a woman and had big boobs, people would pay more attention to him and he would love it. But so, that's, that's all he wants is attention. My yeah, question, and, if he was, and if he was a little bit larger of a man, he'd be running around with the, with the criminal element here robbing people. He came around here because he could... Not anyway. get beat up. My question was going to be, <laughs> Cecilyn was willing to take Bitcoin to give Graham a hug. Uh, would you also hug Graham Colson <laughs> if he would accept it, which I probably imagine he wouldn't. Well, he uh, got Bitcoin, he too. He got some Bitcoin, yeah. too? Okay. Yeah, we both got Bitcoin. Would, would you give Graham Colson a hug for the right amount of Bitcoin? I'll and tell you so, what. What I'll, would that be? I've put my hands on Graham before, and it wasn't in a loving way, and, and, I'll, <laughs> and I'll gladly do that again for free. <laughs> Wait, does that mean you'll hug him for free? Or no, it you'll... means I'll throw him off his bicycle and chase him from away from your house. The the chat room wants you to bribe me to hug Cantwell. That's what they want. Hmm. All right, well, let's take I'm some I'm not bits. interested. <laughs> Get on with the show. All right. Uh, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. The emotional appeal of liberty. Someone is going to... For, former co-host of the show, actually, has written a piece here about how to appeal to people. I think we should talk about that. Because, Cecilyn, you have some opinions about this. I have opinions about everything. 855-450 free. You can join us here on Free Talk Live. Just recently, we've witnessed some of the most catastrophic disasters in history. Be sure to prepare yourself with great-tasting, high-quality, GMO-free food that has a 25-year shelf life. Of course, we're talking about the foods from SurvivalFoodAlliance.com. And don't forget, the human body needs up to three quarts of water every day to remain healthy and hydrated. So check out our water bricks at survivalfoodalliance.com. Go to survivalfoodalliance.com or call 877-223-1776. So I say to Mark at lunch, look, you know, I keep hearing from the government that, you know, they're worried someday ISIS may get here. And I go, Doug, uh, Garland, Texas, Muhammad cartoon shooting. ISIS is already here. I'm not waiting for these people to defend me. I, if they don't know ISIS is here already, they got no clue. I'm taking care of myself. Guns80.com, AR-15 kits, 30-shot magazines, great prices. They've even got the Hillary special. Guns80.com, that's 844-2-GUNS-80, guns80.com. Everyone says or does something silly once in a while, even very smart, very accomplished people. It's part of being human. A quote taken out of context, a legal problem, an unfortunate photograph. Once that embarrassing thing is on the Internet, it can spread like a terrible rash because people love to dig up dirt, even when it's not real dirt. Put it to rest. Call for a free expert analysis today from Reputation.com. It only takes 30 seconds. 800-831-0771. Businesses, public figures, and professionals turn to Reputation.com for good reason. We protect your online image by helping make sure that when people search for you or your business, they find the most current, accurate information possible. Reputation.com. Because word travels fast. Learn more about what the experts at Reputation.com can do for you. Call for a free analysis today. 800-831-0771. That's 800-831-0771. No way. Is that a real bullet necklace? No, it's a 9mm bullet necklace with matching earrings, you'll notice. Those are awesome. Where'd you get them? Dave found them at PatriotNecklace.com. Wow. They have a variety of calibers and necklaces and earrings and keychains. PatriotNecklace.com. PatriotNecklace.com. Your choice of caliber bullet includes a rugged American-made stainless steel dog tag chain. A percentage of every sale goes to military and service-related charities. And get a discount by entering GCN at checkout. Show your patriotism and support our troops with a bullet necklace from PatriotNecklace.com. That's disgusting. What's that smell? Roll down your window before I pass out. It's those nasty fish oil pills I've been taking. 
Why won't you just switch to Nutrigold fish oil like I did? It's fish oil. What's the difference? Well, my Nutrigold fish oil is sourced and manufactured right here in the USA. What's so special about that? Aren't they all? Are you kidding? Of course not. Only Nutrigold fish oil is 100% USA made, which is why it's so fresh. 100% product of USA and fresh? I like the sound of that. So no more fish burps? No more fish burps. And that's not all. If you go to www.fishoil.best and enter my fish oil, you can save $5 like I did. Eh, that won't be necessary. We can just share your bottle. Nice try. Get your own at www.fishoil.best. <laughs> Sorry. Get rid of those fish burps for good. Go to Nutrigold's U.S. made fish oil products by going to www.fishoil.best and get $5 off by entering My Fish Oil at checkout. There are hundreds of silver products on the market today, but there's nothing like the astonishing health benefits of the multi patented One Silver Solution. Boost your immune system at a great price with our Silver Solution Liquid, starting at $12.95 a bottle, now available in regular and extra strength. That's half the price of the leading competitors. Call 844 Use Silver for your free catalog or go to OneSilverSolution.com. One Silver Solution. This is Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live. Of course, you may join us here. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Whether you want to talk about cultural libertarianism or appealing uh, the ideas of freedom, getting those out there, uh, how do they appeal to people, then well, that's what we're going to address next here. What's the best way, is there a best way, to spread these ideas? Our toll-free number again, 855-450-FREE. We've got Skype at Skype username lrn.fm. And how would you like to save 20 25%, maybe even more, on your next Amazon purchase and every other one after that? Because you can do that through saveatpurse.com. Now, that's a special link. It takes you to the Free Talk Live, uh, basically the affiliate link, over at Purse. And Purse allows you to use your Bitcoin to buy things on Amazon at a huge discount. You just have to be willing to be patient. Sometimes the order can that you put, uh, that you place in, could take a few hours to as many as a few days uh, before somebody will snatch it up. But once it is ordered, you will get 20, 25%, maybe even more. Like I said, I've got uh, these headphones I'm wearing 29% off through save at purse.com. The trick is you've got to have Bitcoin. So I'll tell you how to get some Bitcoin here in a little bit. Go to purse, or excuse me, save at purse.com. The old URL was purse.freetalklive.com. That still works, but save at purse.com. We decided to go and get that just because it's a little easier to say. It's a little easier to share. If you share save at purse.com with your friends and family, it doesn't look as weird as like purse.freetalklive.com. So just go to save at purse.com. Get your account started up there. I'm a huge fan of purse. Cecilyn, yes. let's move into what you wanted to discuss here tonight about this uh, piece by former co-host Lauren Objectivist Girl. I don't uh, think she goes by O-Girl anymore. Well, many of our listeners would know uh, her by that name. She was going by it when she was on this show. She's now mm -hmm. known as Lauren Rumpler. Because mm -hmm. that's her name. Yep. And uh, she's posted a blog. She did, in fact, uh, post a blog entitled The Emotional Appeal of Liberty Dash Lauren Rumpler. I love how her name is in the title there. Um, and essentially, from my understanding and my reading of this article, what she's suggesting is that what most people want in life is to be accepted for their weirdness, to let their freak flag fly, and to be accepted for that. And so tapping into that is going to be the best way to get people into the ideas of liberty. Uh, let's hear it in her own words. Do you mind? <sighs> okay, fine. So fact one, liberty it has an incredible, intrinsic, and rhapsodical emotional appeal. Intrinsic was the Intrinsic. Second. I'm sorry. I'm really bad at reading it's sometimes. Okay. Fact two, most of the liberty community is neglecting to shed light on this fact, and it is in turn shunning, stunting the, the growth of the movement. I've been talking to people in the liberty community for years about their approach to liberty. Some say we should be working towards sustainable agriculture. Some say we need to be innovating and creating technology that is better than what the state has. And then there's a small minority that believes that if Enough. Do, if we do enough civil disobedience, the world will change and approach 
I view as being as effective as chewing a glass of a piece of glass on, to fix your teeth. So that seems like. Uh, do you want me to take over the read? Because I'm, I'm happy to do that. <laughs> Go right ahead. Uh, so that that seems like a. Um, uh, less than complete boiling down of the various different perspectives on liberty. What do we have here? Uh, creating technology that's better than the state. Okay, that's cool. I'm I'm on board with that. Let's do that. Uh, like cell 411, for instance, is a great example of this, where yeah. uh, you can send out a, a, a an alert. This was programmed by a liberty guy, uh, Virgil, who's been on our show before. And you send out this alert, and it sends it out to your friends and and or family and or neighbors or whatever. And maybe you you know there's some sort of health issue. Maybe it's a fire. Maybe it's a police encounter or whatever. And that of course is a, a way to sort of compete with the old state method of emergency services, where you'd have to dial the state and call nine one one. So that's a good example of that. But uh, that's only one thing. She also talks about uh, working towards sustainable agriculture. I'm not sure how that's going to achieve liberty, but it's a good idea. I think that's a fine thing, right? Grow your own food. It gets you dep- uh, takes you off the dependency of uh, store, uh, big consumer stores and the government going on their roads to go to the store. You can, you know, if if and when the government does collapse, you know, you have your own food. That type of thing. Agriculture is pretty important. Without and food, you can't live. The third thing she writes here is that you know civil disobedience she thinks is a bad idea. What about all the other things people are doing for liberty? Outreach, education. Yeah, political action political. as well. So not really a particularly comprehensive list. And as far as uh, civil disobedience is concerned, I, I do tend to agree that you know, if you only do a little bit of civil disobedience, if there are only a few civilly disobedient people, then they're sort of these... Uh, they're going to they're get picked off, basically. They'll they'll be taken out like our friend Derek J in his movie, Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. If you're the lone civil disobedience activist, it's going to be a relatively short career. Uh, yeah, certainly. You, uh, you know, going to jail is uh, not uh, generally the the most direct path to freedom. Yeah, that's true. And it's also, um, you know, when you go to jail... It, it certainly is a difficult thing to reproduce. It's a difficult thing for others to duplicate, right? So when you're doing uh, activism of some sort, it's helpful if other people can sort of pick up that ball and run with it. So if you are out uh, at a protest, bring extra signs so other people can come without signs and they can just take your signs and then use them. Get you know Activism that allows people to sort of plug into something that they can duplicate without having to put much effort into Civil disobedience is hard uh, to duplicate because it it takes a special person who's willing to kind of risk uh, their own personal freedom, risk their personal wealth, uh, risk their their place in life if they've got a job or something like that for extraordinarily little reward in most yeah. cases. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So, but at the same time, I still am a fan of the idea of civil disobedience uh, because I think I, I you know I have seen instances where it has worked wonderfully. Uh, when you get enough people together, you can do civil disobedience and the cops will leave you alone. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, if you were to give police a primer on civil disobedience, it would be that they have already lost. Right? Like As soon as people decide to do it, they've got one of two options. That's Either right. they're going to start knocking heads and, and exposing the violence inherent in the system, or they are going to make themselves look impotent by doing nothing about it. And either way, I mean, civil disobedience has this way of accomplishing its goal of you know, either making the state look impotent or making the state look violent. You you, exactly. you will accomplish that nearly 100% of the time with civil disobedience, but it's a matter of how many eyeballs you get on that and what it actually does to change society. Right. Uh, and it certainly can get uh, people talking. It can certainly bring an issue to the forefront. And you're right, Chris, any way you slice civil disobedience is a win. And I, you know, I'm putting those in quotes, right, because some people look at going to jail as not a win. But you have to look at the long game, if you would, the uh, the long road, and, uh, and you are winning from that perspective in that the state cannot look good no matter what its response is to the civilly disobedient. Exactly. Uh, let's continue here. I'll pick up the story from thenewsdoctors.com and Lauren Rumpler. She goes on, while all of these approaches, even a little civil disobedience, uh, she says, are important to creating the future that we desire as anarchists, these are not going to be the turning points for more people who take the red pill. You can't use logic to convert a person whose ideas are based on emotion. 
I want to I want to go into that idea real quick because sure. I I there's there's some merit in what she's saying there. There is somebody who comes to a conclusion not based on reason cannot be reasoned out of that position, and this is something that I've found extraordinarily frustrating over the last six years. I've been trying to you know wake people up to these ideas that. Uh, foundationally, people are not interested in logic, reason, and evidence. That is not uh, how people are reaching their conclusions, and that is something that I was not aware of before I became a libertarian. <laughs> I, As soon as I was exposed to the ideas of liberty, I changed my positions very rapidly because they made sense. And I thought to myself really quick, I was like, oh, this is great. I'll just go and explain this to everybody else, and then we'll solve this problem of this tyrannical government. And I found out really rapidly that that was not how it worked. All your logic didn't matter. It didn't matter one cent. And All you the statistics. Out, you go matter. out and talk to people, and rather than respond to reason with reason, they respond to reason with hysteria and sometimes violence. Violence, yeah. We've certainly seen that happen uh, here in Keene, New Hampshire, where people who have done the simple act of filling parking meters for expired you know, cars that had an expired meter have been physically attacked in the streets. By people who see this as a threat to the status quo and yeah, get I'm, very emotional about I get it. Death threats on a regular basis. It's crazy. We'll continue here. You can share your thoughts with us. Uh, the idea of spreading liberty, maybe appealing to emotion, is a good idea. 855 450 free. This is Free Talk Live. This is a message for anyone with sleep apnea who is on the go and tired of dragging around a big, bulky home CPAP device. MiniCPAP.com now offers a portable device that's as small as a soda can and weighs less than a pound. For even more freedom, you can add a battery that's as tiny as a deck of cards. It's called the Transcend Mini CPAP. And right now, you can try it risk-free for 21 days by calling 1-800-939-8536. Transcend is the world's first portable mini CPAP device. It gives you okay. the freedom Never to mind. sleep in total comfort anywhere you are. Our smallest and most advanced portable design ever. Transcend is so small and so light you can fit it in your briefcase or purse to use anywhere you go. It's FAA compliant too, so you can even sleep comfortably while flying. Enjoy the freedom to sleep comfortably anywhere. Call miniCPAP.com now for your 21-day in-home trial. 1-800-939-8536. That's 1-800-939-8536. This is Dan Pillett. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Everyone says or does something silly once in a while. But once that embarrassing thing is on the Internet, it can spread like a terrible rash. Put it to rest. Get a free expert analysis today from Reputation.com. It only takes 30 seconds. 800-831-0771. We protect your online image by helping to make sure that when people search for you or your business, they find the most current, accurate information possible. Reputation.com. Because word travels fast. Call for a free analysis today. 800-831-0771. That's 800-831-0771. We use mobile devices right against our bodies every day, but growing scientific evidence has emerged showing serious health risks associated with exposure to EMF radiation emitted from these devices. The solution is Defender Shield, the most effective mobile radiation shielding ever developed. Defender Shield blocks virtually 100% of EMF radiation from cell phones, tablets, and laptops and starts at just $64.99. Buy now at DefenderShield.com. For 10% off, use promo code GCN. DefenderShield.com, the worldwide leader in mobile radiation shielding. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers, how can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com. 
or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Turn on the news and you'll hear stories of natural disasters, political unrest, and financial crisis. In times of uncertainty, how will you take care of your family's most basic needs? Food Insurance, America's most trusted provider of freeze-dried emergency food, has solutions that fit your family's needs and budget. Our meals are delicious, nutritious, and come with a guaranteed 25-year shelf life. For a limited time, we are sending a free freeze-dried meal to all listeners of this program. Go to foodinsurance.com and request your free meal today. That's foodinsurance.com. You're listening to Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live. You may join us here. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE, discussing communicating the ideas of liberty to people. And we're going to continue doing that with you in the studio tonight. It's Ian. Sasselin. And Cantwell. Because these are important ideas to us. That's why, you know, primarily the reason why we do this show is to get those concepts out, get the idea of the non-aggression principle, the idea that it's it's inappropriate, it's wrong to use aggressive force to achieve your political or social goals. That's the basis of libertarianism. I thought that we were doing this in order to become fabulously wealthy at the hands of the Koch brothers. Nope. Uh, nope. Sorry. That's just not happening. Uh, you just can't become fabulously wealthy promoting I, these ideas, at least not yet. I came for the sausage fest. I don't know about you guys. There's plenty of that around, too. So we're going to continue with your calls and thoughts here. We'll get back to Lauren Rumper's piece from the News Doctors in a moment. Also want to welcome our listeners on uh, WSLA AM. 1560 in Slidell, Louisiana. I welcomed you earlier this week, but it was on an hour of the show that you weren't actually tuned in for. So. Whoops. So now here you can hear us say hello and welcome to Free Talk Live. If you're listening in the Slidell area, uh, you're welcome to join us. You're actually listening live there and you'll be getting Free Talk Live six nights a week, which is pretty cool. So welcome aboard. Not bad. Yeah. Our toll free number here is 855-450-FREE and we really are open phones, meaning you can call in about anything that you like. Let's go to Tom. He's in Nashua, New Hampshire. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Tom. Yeah, the cops that murdered Jonathan Farrell just got uh, a Who is this? hung jury. Who's the Jonathan cop, Farrell? The, uh, the guy down in North Carolina. He crashed his car, and wee, wee hours of the morning, he was able to break out of his car and walk barefoot to some lady's house, and she flipped out because uh, she opened the door and there's some black man standing there. She ran and called the cops. Uh, I guess he went to go find another house to knock on, and uh, the the cops got there, and he came running up to the cops because he needed help because his car uh, got totaled and everything, and a uh, cop just gunned him down oh, in cold God. blood. And uh, the jury wouldn't even convict them of manslaughter. It was a split decision, and, uh, you know, all they could do is bring up, you know, if they do anything at all, is simply bring up a manslaughter charge, which just shows how useless it is. Like you're saying, trying to reason with people who are totally wrong and stuff, trying to get people to care about these cold-blooded murders that the cops are committing against so innocent people. So what you're saying is that uh, this jury— refused to convict the police officer of any kind of criminal activity surrounding his killing of this man. Yeah, that's correct. And, uh, and it was a split decision. What was the I man? Uh, was is he, So he wasn't running from the police. He just had some sort of car accident. He had a car accident, and then he went uh, over to somebody's house, and uh, yeah. they called the cops because he went over to their house. And then, uh, then is he, there anything you're leaving out of this story, Tom? This I is what I'm trying. Is. I'm trying to pull the story up here yeah. because there there is a discrepancy in here. Okay, yeah. the jurors are in the in the court. You know, the jurors are in the court and they're hearing the details. Now, my understanding of it, and I'll, I'll pull up a story on it in a second. But there was there is discrepancies on on both sides of the issue here. That the the cops the cops described something that did not match what was on the dash cam. Uh, and so the cops were either dishonest or had their recollections impaired for mm -hmm. some reason, which can happen when you shoot a person, right? I mean, I had to pull my gun out on some guys on Main Street in Keene, and I certainly I was very glad that I had the video because I was having trouble recalling what happened. Your, mm -hmm. you know, your blood is up, and it can be very uh, distracting. Um, but uh, this guy did not behave as one should probably behave in a police interaction. This Farrell, the Jonathan Farrell guy, you're saying? 
Yeah, I'm trying to pull a story up right now. Well, it's, it's, it's pretty common that Tom leaves certain details out of uh, his tellings of these stories. Thanks, Tom, for your call tonight. We'll see if we can learn more about Jonathan Farrell here in a moment. I am making a concerted effort here when we talk about police to actually try to analyze these things because something that has occurred to me lately is that there's a, there's a st- stunning lack of it. I am more than happy to go out and say terrible, terrible things about police as an institution, but we, we we have to stop with this every time a black man gets killed by the police that we say that the police murdered him in cold blood because a lot of times that's not the case. Mm-hmm. So we'll learn more about that when we get the chance. If you want, if you know more, you're welcome to call in 855-450 free Ian Ces- uh, Cecilin and Cantwell in the studio. Let's go to Ann Cap Dalek calling from Colorado on Skype. Hello, Dalek. How's it going, guys? Hey, you're on the air. Go ahead. All right. Um, so I was just kind of curious, uh, Ian, um, what kind of games do you play uh, and what's your preferred console? There's just something <laughs> just off topic. I know. Uh, I know. So I, I want to get Cecilyn's answer to this, too, because I know she's a gamer as well. Uh, so I, I currently have the PlayStation 3 as my most used uh, console, and I am currently playing Assassin's Creed 4, which is a pirate game, and I do enjoy a good pirate game. Uh, there's also, I like the XCOM series. I, I, uh, play on the Xbox 360. Mm -hmm. Um, my favorite game to play right now is Gears of War 3. I do a little Left 4 Dead here and there, some Skyrim, Fallout. So you like the action? Um, yeah, I like action. I like, uh, you know, open sandbox, um, the role playing games, role playing Skyrim. Games, yeah. Skyrim was fun. I played that one too. I like, zo- I like killing zombies. And zombies the Fallout fun. series. I enjoy those. Yes. yes. And Fallout 4 is coming. So yeah, it is. As Fallout yeah. 4, XCOM 2, uh, these are both coming, I guess, later this year. So I'm sure yeah. I'm going to be pouring and dozens of hours into that and being incredibly unproductive <laughs> uh, as uh, as a result. I don't play games <laughs> as often as I would like to, um, just because I, I'm so busy with You're other matters. You're so busy. You do matters. things, man. You do yeah. things. But when yeah, I do play games, here. I do play them like a junkie, mm-hmm. and it's a problem. <laughs> I get a new game, yeah. and you don't see me for three days. Pretty yeah, much. It happens. Yeah. Uh, aside from the politics and what's going on with, uh, with death, and Bungie and Activision and stuff. I really do highly recommend the game. I think Which game? that the taking uh, Destiny. Oh, it, this is like a first-person shooter. It, it it is a first-person shooter, but it does have like more of a, a very interesting lore. I ain't gonna lie. Um, but for See, the, the most problem part, with first-person politics... shooters is there's so many of them, and they're yeah. all just so kind of same. See, so. I don't I don't like Halo, or I like Halo. I like Halo better than COD. Mm-hmm. Really don't like Call of Duty or the way like it feels, but I yeah. love Gears of War cuz it's like a third person kind of yeah. kind of situation. I really like the uh, how the movement happens and hitboxes seem to be pretty good and it's not oh, too absolutely. broken. Yeah. But like There I you said, go. Yeah. Thank I, you. I and, even talked like, gamer at you. There you go. Happy yeah, birthday. well, we got to be careful when you're getting into uh niches. You got to, you know, explain a little bit more what we're talking <laughs> about. So, uh, you know, first person shooter, that one should be fairly self-explanatory. Yeah. You are in the uh, behind the eyes of the character in the game. And basically the goal is to shoot anything that moves with a few yeah. exceptions in some games. And yeah. uh, there are other sort of that have combined different genres together. So you mentioned Fallout earlier. That oh, yeah. sort of is like a shooter, but not really because it's also a role playing game. Yeah, it's and, an RPG with guns. Yeah. So, <laughs> anyway, there you go, Ancap Dalek. Thanks for Thank your you. call tonight. Um, oh, he had an also. Sorry, Sorry about that, bro. Um, I did. I pulled up a story on this on this shooting. Okay. Yeah, Jonathan and, Farrell. Yeah, and and what it looks like happened. I mean, they they charged him with voluntary manslaughter because they said that his they charged uh, the cop. The, yeah, they charged the cop with voluntary manslaughter. The guy got into a, a car accident and he was looking for help. Okay, this was not a guy who was out, you know, victimizing people. Okay. That's not what happened. But he did startle a woman because he he was looking for help. He was in a pretty bad accident. Yeah. And according to the the woman who called nine one one, he was banging on the door very loudly he's mm-hmm. you know probably desperate for help right? right but she does not know this black man who showed up at her Banging door in the, the middle door. of the night she opened the door thinking it was her husband she opens it up and it's a it's a black stranger and she mm-hmm. panicked and she dialed 911 when the police came for some reason we don't know why because we can't get the guy's story of it but he ran towards the police officers mm-hmm. okay and the police officers were intimidated by this one of the officers fired a oh, taser boy. at the guy but the guy kept coming, 
And so the other officer had his, uh, they, they say the department procedure is if one officer pulls his taser, another officer should pull his firearm. Mm-hmm. They, they fired the taser. It didn't stop the guy. And then the other cop shot him. And they say that this is not in line with department procedure. And there's a lot of problems with compulsory police departments. But I'll tell you what, this idea that every time someone gets shot who is not armed is, is just a murder is nonsense. Okay. When I had to pull my gun, I pulled my gun out on two unarmed guys who came to attack me. And I was not allowed to, I was not about to let these guys get on top of me and get my weapon. So um, I, I, it's, it's, a, this sounds like a really tragic story, but I am, uh, I'm, I'm not uh, convinced the guy should have been convicted of anything. Boy, I mean, you, you certainly hear plenty of stories with the police shooting someone. Some, usually it's a dog uh, because they felt scared about, you know, what was going to happen. And a lot of these dogs, you know, in my opinion, of course, you can kick them or something like that. You don't need to shoot somebody to death. And I would imagine in this case, they probably didn't need to shoot this man to death either. If there's a man running at you, uh, you don't have to necessarily go for the head. I, and I don't know where they shot him, right? But uh, what they, they ended up dying. I don't have that information. What they likely shot for center mass. I mean, yeah. when you when you when you are trained to shoot, you are trained to shoot for center mass, and you're going to you know get your bullet pretty close to some vital organs, if not through one. He was unarmed though, as well, right? He like, was unarmed. Wasn't like he was coming at him with a knife or a gun or something like that. Well, you know, you want to find that out after he's on top of you. No, not necessarily. Uh, but there were two cops on the scene. Anyway, you can share your thoughts here at 855-450-FREE. It's hard to second guess unless there's video or somebody was there witnessing it. It's Free Talk Live. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust who will never betray you or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. Hi, Chuck Woolery here. I don't know about you, but I don't like taking pills for minor arthritis pain, and I don't like those patches either. But I've found something that works, Australian Dream Arthritis Pain Relief Cream. It's a great product. doesn't smell or burn, isn't greasy, and it works. And Australian Dream has an empty jar guarantee. You can use the whole jar. If you're not happy, you get your money back. But I doubt that you'll send it back because this stuff works. Australian Dream is available at Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, Walmart, Target, and other drugstores and supermarkets everywhere. Did you know that drinking pure, high alkaline water is one of the most important factors in maintaining high energy and vibrant health? Most experts agree that the water you drink should be at a pH level of 8 or higher. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops, available only at AlkaVision.com, combine a unique formula of only the most alkaline minerals. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops alkalize your water, ridding the body of harmful toxins, and helps you regain health and energy. Alkalizing your water by simply adding 10 drops of AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops helps Helps the body rid itself of acidic waste, increases oxygen content, and raises the pH of your body to healthy levels. And bacteria and viruses cannot survive in an alkaline high pH environment. Order your bottle of AlkaVision Plasma pH drops for only $29.95 at AlkaVision.com. That's A-L-K-A-Vision.com. Or call 269-409-1776. 269-409-1776. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at AlkaVision.com today. The Costa Report on the Future of Talk Radio, GCN. With SRN News, I'm Keith Peters in Washington. Miami-Dade County Mayor Carlos Jimenez says it's not clear yet how much of an impact Tropical Storm Erica will have on South Florida. Today the message is uh, for the people to get ready, just be prepared. He says according to most forecasts, Erica will cross over land and mountains before hitting South Florida. That's good news for uh, South Florida as it interacts with land and also stays to the south, more wind shear. It's uh, it's less uh, less probable that we'll have a wind event here in, uh, in South Florida. Florida, but we won't know that until it emerges, emerges from Hispaniola. The National Hurricane Center said during its 5 o'clock forecast that it expects Erica to weaken into a tropical depression, and now officials are saying there is a significant chance that no watches or warnings for Florida will be required over the weekend. 
Meanwhile, out west, blazes continue to burn over rough, dry terrain in parts of Washington, Oregon, and California. Okanagan County, Washington Emergency Operations spokeswoman Heather Kelly says strong winds this weekend could lead to power outages. Please plan and prepare in case this weekend you do get some wind areas. We want you to be safe and cautious when it comes to power, down lines, and being prepared to take care of yourself. In other news, Andy Parker says the overwhelming reaction to the fatal on-air shooting of his daughter, TV reporter Allison Parker, makes him determined to see gun laws strengthened. I'm getting messages worldwide. I mean, nationwide, worldwide. This, is, this has struck such an emotional chord, and that's why I think, you know, it's different this time, folks. It's different this time. Former reporter Vester Flanagan used a legally acquired handgun to kill Parker and cameraman Adam Ward. Parker acknowledged that winning restrictions on guns has proved difficult in the U.S., even after other high-profile tragedies. He says he's not against gun ownership, but wants stricter background checks to keep guns away from unstable people. This is SRN News. I'm Nick Soboleski, a select quote agent with a true story that could save you hundreds of dollars a year. A woman named Linda just called. Her husband, Ray, has a $300,000 group life insurance policy, but is changing jobs and can't take it with him. Well, I impartially shopped the highly rated term life insurance companies we represent and found Ray, who is 41 and takes medication to control his cholesterol, a 10-year, $500,000 policy for under $26 a month. That's almost twice the coverage for less than half of what he had paid. If SelectQuote hasn't shopped for your life insurance, you're probably paying too much. For your free quote, call 1-800-573-2467. That's 1-800-573-2467. 1-800-573-2467. Or go to SelectQuote.com. SelectQuote. We shop. You save. Get full details on the example policy at SelectQuote.com slash commercials. Your price could vary depending on your health issuing company and other factors not available in all states. Defense Secretary... Defense Secretary Ash Carter announced today that the Pentagon. We don't know all the applications this new technology will make possible. That's the remarkable thing about innovation. And that's another reason why America and America's military must get there first. Defense Secretary Ash Carter announcing today that the Pentagon is funding a new venture to develop cutting-edge electronics and sensors that can flex and stretch and could be built into clothing or the skins of ships and aircraft. He's also trying to rebuild frayed ties between the government and the sector. We're drilling tunnels through that wall that sometimes seems to separate government from scientists and commercial technologists. SRN News. <laughs> Oh, God. Donald Trump holds a sizable lead over all others in the first Southern primary. Three in ten likely voters in South Carolina support Trump in the Republican primary. Ben Carson is a distant second at 15 percent, according to the Monmouth University poll. Trump's support is even stronger among self-identified evangelicals. In that group, Trump leads Carson 33 percent to 18 percent. Interestingly, though, Trump's negatives are far higher than his. Only 9 percent have an unfavorable view of the retired neurosurgeon. 23 percent hold an unfavorable view of Trump. Wally Hines reporting. North Carolina prosecutors have decided against retrying a white police officer who shot and killed an unarmed black man in 2013 after his trial ended last week in a deadlock. Randall Carrick had been accused of voluntary manslaughter in the death of Jonathan Farrell. More details available at srnnews.com. You're old enough to tell that something is definitely wrong. You've been paying attention for years and you're ready. You're probably frustrated because your children don't listen to your words of warning. What will you do when your grandkids show up hungry at your door? Get more food storage from Ready Supply Foods. We sell 50% more food for your dollar and we can prove it. See the comparisons for yourself at ReadySupplyFoods.com. We're the new leader in value and quality. Go to ReadySupplyFoods.com today. 
We, we, we are a survival company. We manufacture our own line of Level 3 and Level 3A body armor. We proudly make our armor 100% in America. We have the best prices in the nation, about $125 cheaper than our nearest competitor. All lab certified, for thou art my rock in my fortress. Psalm 31.3. We are Fortress Survival LLC. Dot, dot, dot com. Free Talk Live. This is Free Talk Live, and you're welcome to join us here. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Coming up, we will come back to a discussion we began in the last hour, which is about appealing to people's emotions when explaining the ideas of liberty to them. A story that Cecilyn brought in here tonight, Ian Cecilyn and Cantwell in the studio. But we're going to go back to your phone calls first here. Plus coming up, the Ashley Madison uh, data analysis suggests it was a bunch of dudes talking to each other, which shouldn't really be a surprise. Uh, let's go first, though, to Armed Truth calling from Virginia. You're on Free Talk, or excuse me, calling from California about Virginia. Go ahead, Armed Truth. Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome. Hey, yeah, I'm just calling. I don't know if you guys had heard the uh, press conference earlier with the father of, I forget the girl's name, uh, Amber or something like that. I think that was Al killed. Allison. You know. Allison. Is this the TV you. reporter who was shot Yeah, to I death? believe her name was Allison Park or and, Parker. Yeah. She and she the cameraman. The yeah, correct. And it was the father of the girl, of uh, the reporter. Okay. And uh, I was just in the car driving and, the, you know, the press release came on him talking. And probably within a minute of him speaking... You know, his daughter had been shot to death two days ago. He went on like a 10-minute whole gun, you know, speech about how guns are bad, claiming, you know, it was, it was the weirdest thing I've ever heard from a father's child just died. All of a sudden, he's pitching about politicians and reporters need to strike down the NRA, how he started going into machine gun weapons when his daughter was killed by a handgun. Yep. And it was very, very political. And lo and behold, I find out he is, at the end, he talks about how he is a politician. He knows all these big politicians. Oh, okay. And it seemed very, very out of place for, you know, this was in a week or two weeks after his daughter had died. This was two days. And it just seemed like it was almost not written out, but a very calculated speech by him about how we need more gun control and then he went on about gun control, and then at the end he goes, well, I need to go now, and I need a gun, and talks about how, well, he needs a gun, but other people shouldn't have guns. <laughs> what? And it was the weirdest, weirdest thing I've ever heard in my life. These anti-gun scumbags can't even wait for the bodies to hit the floor every single time they do this. The bodies aren't even cold yet, and they're like, we got to take everybody's guns. We've got to take everybody's guns because <laughs> this guy was a crazy person. And I'm like, hey, maybe you should start dealing with your social justice just warrior lunatic friends that guy was a was a maniac okay the he killer a, yeah he he was he w was obsessed with with race and sexuality he he was just constantly saying that it just racism and and homophobia was just everywhere he was a mm -hmm. paranoid deranged lunatic and by the way there was no gun control law short of an outright ban on buying firearms for anyone that would have prevented him from getting a gun mm -hmm. he did not have he a criminal record yeah. he did not have a criminal record he bought the gun like two months ago that's right so any sort of like handgun waiting ban thing that would have done anything for it there's no background check would have stopped him from doing it he passed a federal background check it's complete nonsense the only thing that they could be saying is that nobody can buy guns that's the only thing that that would have perceivably stopped him from having that weapon in that place and of course that doesn't stop there from being black markets these people are scum this guy's a politician you know what you're you're a piece of garbage uh mr politician mr park because you know what you your daughter is dead and the first thing that you wanted to go to was to advance your political career that's you sick. are the scum of the earth Oh, I, com I completely agree with you, Cantwell. And it, that's exactly how it sounded, too, that he was advancing his career. He started naming off all these politician people he knows. And, oh, I'm a you know bureaucrat and everything. And it's funny that you said about the, you know, the guy bought it legally because a reporter said that immediately. He said, you know, what gun control laws were broken? And he kind of, well, you know, he, he was crazy. It showed he was crazy. And they, so he passed a background check, you know. And, well, there were signs. There were signs. And it's kind of like, well, any person who has 
and is disruntled at work is now banned from having a weapon. You know, crazy people are this crazy. This guy people. wasn't You're it never like two years after he got fired. I mean, he was he was out of of that job for a long time too. It wasn't like this was uh, some sort of next day shooting. You know what no, they should have exactly. done? They should have charged the guy with a felony when he filed frivolous lawsuits against his coworkers. That's what should have happened. And then he'd have been a convicted felon and he wouldn't have gotten a gun. But no, that'd be politically incorrect. We've got to let this guy file false accusations of racism and homophobia and Equal Employment Opportunity Commission complaints and just and just they're completely frivolous and everybody knows that he's a liar, but never have any consequences for him. Didn't he claim in his manifesto, which I haven't read the full the full twenty? Nobody has, pages. it hasn't been released. Right. I looked for it. I couldn't find it. But didn't he claim in that manifesto that he had been uh, that, that the company that he'd worked for settled that suit? There was a yes. th- there was a previous company he worked for yeah. that settled a suit. The, the the complaints against WDBJ were those got were, kicked out. Yeah, th- okay. those those were those were dismissed as frivolous. And he, and he had a long history of this. It's all over the place. Arm Truth. Anything else you want to share on this? Yeah, no, I think you guys did, you know, saying exactly, you know, what's going on. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it, it, I don't know, it just baffles me that someone could do that right after, you know, their child had died. Well, here but we yeah, are back just- to the discussion about appealing to people's emotions. I mean, this is a time, yeah, you're right, it's totally cold that this guy could do that so quickly uh, thereafter, I think. But, you know, he is appealing to people's emotions, and this is a way to advance the gun control agenda. Is to, and That's why they jump on it's this so quickly. It's the only way to advance the gun control agenda because the data doesn't match up. Right. You, you right. can't go and say, well, here's the statistics that prove that we're all going to be safer once the guns are gone because that's a factual inaccuracy, right? You have to say, for the children, my daughter got shot. Now we have to take guns away from the scary black guy. And it's complete nonsense. Yeah, exactly. And I think what it boils down to is, you know, crazy people are crazy people. And I did yeah. like some research in college and, you know, there were school mass school killings in the late 1800s by guys with knives really? and stuff. You know, cra- crazy people do crazy things and you're never going to be able to stop it. And the larger the population is, that small percentage will, you know, grow. And, you know, you're never going to be able to stop it. If You know, obviously, if they banned all weapons, if you're that crazy, you'll find a weapon or you know, you'll stab someone, you'll blow yourself up. There, you know, there's yeah, a thousand. They're not going to ban all it. weapons. They can't do it. It's the, you know, the cat's out of the bag. There are hundreds of millions of guns in the United States, and it seems very unlikely that you know anybody is going to be turning in 300 million guns. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Some, some people will do it if they're told to, but a lot of people are going to bury them. Or you come whatever. for the guns, you can leave with the bullets. Thanks, Armed Truth. Yeah. Appreciate the call tonight. You can join us here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. So appealing to people's emotions works, and there's no doubt about that. And that's kind of coming back around to the discussion that we were having briefly in the last hour. <laughs> Story from Lauren Rumpler, an appeal, or I guess uh, an editorial from Lauren Rumpler, appearing at thenewsdoctors.com. According to her piece here, she says that, uh, let's see, she says that you can't use logic to convert a person whose ideas are based on emotion. So we need to fight emotion with emotion. And the strongest emotion of all is people's desire to have their weirdness accepted. I don't know about that. She's about to go off the rails here. Okay. I'll just, I'll just, I'll, <laughs> I'll give you a spoiler alert. She's going off the rails. Because I was with her up until that, till that sentence there. I mean, I was, you know, I like yeah. the idea of appealing to emotions. That is something that you're going to have to do to really get the ideas of freedom out there effectively. Yeah, what she's essentially saying here is what libertarian needs is more freaks and weirdos than we already have. You know, I really don't need my weirdness to be accepted. I'm perfectly fine with my weirdness and nobody accepting it. Right. You know, as long as you don't kill me, I'm cool with that. You know, and emotions are not a weird thing, right? No, they're not. Like, I don't know why we need to go after weirdos just to use emotion in our arguments, right? It seems like a silly thing. Like, okay, now, in order to use emotion, we've got to go after the strangest people we can possibly find and invite them into our little... (laughs) <laughs> little political cult and have them all come up to New Hampshire and uh, just uh, make us look even weirder than we already are. It was not the things that Morpheus said to Neo, she writes, that made him wake up to the reality of the existence of the Matrix. It was the experience he had after taking the red pill that made him see the truth, that he was strapped into a machine and part of its function. It was the experience and joy that being free from that link that brought Neo to fight for the power to sustain the freedom he found. Now, the truth is... I will say that having the experience of living in a liberty community is amazing. Ex- that experience is amazing. And, and I think that's a great 
way to show people how to open them up. You know, maybe a little bit liberty oriented. Come to a pork fest, come to a liberty forum, and see the community that's here. I think that's pretty good, but uh, it's not the only way. It, it tends to be an accepting community in general, but not across the board. Uh, the toll free number it's here the is the craziest thing I've ever heard you say. Eight fifty five four fifty free. That's eight five five four five zero three seven three three. Like I said, not across the board. I uh, can't. Well, this is Free Talk Live. You can take control. Attention, business owners. Do you know the three most critical letters in business? CEO? MBA? Nope. Here's a hint. These three little letters can make the difference between making a fortune and losing everything. ROI? The answer is INC, as in incorporation. Because if you're not incorporated and someone sues your business, you can lose it all. Your home, your car, even your life savings. That's why Incorporate.com is now giving away a free incorporation guide to all business owners. So you can incorporate in just 10 minutes. Protect your home. Protect your car. Protect your life savings. Call 1-800-941-1029 for your free 10-minute incorporation guide from Incorporate.com. They don't provide legal or financial advice. They just make incorporating or forming an LLC quick and easy. Get the three little letters that can mean the difference between making a fortune and losing everything. For your free guide, call 1-800-941-1029. That's 1-800-941-1029. Do you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS? Then get on board with the tax admiral and let us steer your way to financial freedom. The IRS is the largest collection agency in the world. They can freeze your bank accounts, seize your car, home, will garnish your paychecks and benefits. Don't take on the IRS alone. I can fight for you using industry secrets that can help stop the IRS. I'll cut your penalties, slash your interest, and reduce your overall tax bill. Sometimes I can even get it zeroed out completely we're an a-rated company with over 30 years experience helping people clean up their mess with the irs and we have a 95 percent customer satisfaction rating if you owe ten thousand dollars or more to the irs are facing an audit a lien or levy then call me right away call 800-287-7180 again that's 800-287-7180 800-287-7180 800-287-7180 Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to produce an endless supply of nano-sized silver solutions right from the convenience of your home. Silver Lungs. With the addition of our unique lung delivery system, respiratory infections are targeted directly, where traditional oral administration simply cannot reach. This pioneering method also preserves the original particle sizes and delivers your silver solution directly into the bloodstream. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at silverlungs.com. That's silverlungs.com. That's the sound your brain makes when you realize you're buying something and forgot the coupon. Online or in a store, knowing that you're missing a deal is the worst. You need the app from Retail Me Not right now. Get thousands of coupons from 50,000 stores like Kohl's, Domino's, Best Buy, and more with crazy deals like 60% off, free shipping, and free gifts with purchase. You can get a text invite to download the Retail Me Not app 100% free right now for Apple or Android. Just text the code UPDATE to 42767. Then just show your phone at checkout to save. It literally couldn't be easier. It's 2015. Keep your coupon bonds in your phone. Stop what you're doing and text UPDATE to 42767. Listeners will get a text with a link to download it 100% free. Never forget another coupon again. Text the code UPDATE to 42767 right now. That's UPDATE to 42767. Message and data rates may apply. For terms and privacy, visit RetailMeNot.com. Everyone says or does something silly once in a while. But once that embarrassing thing is on the Internet, it can spread like a terrible rash. Put it to rest. Get a free expert analysis today from Reputation.com. It only takes 30 seconds. 800-831-0771. We protect your online image by helping to make sure that when people search for you or your business, they find the most current, accurate information possible. Reputation.com. Because word travels fast. Call for a free analysis today. 800-831-0771. That's 800-831-0771. Now more Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. Yeah! 
It's Free Talk Live. You can join us here toll free at 855 450 free, whether it's gun control or appealing to the ideas or pe- appealing to uh, people's emotions to spread the ideas of freedom. You can join us here, 855 450 free. We've got Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. Joining you in the studio, you've got me, Ian. Cecilin. And Cantwell. And you can check out more of Cecilin on the Facebooks, right? That's on the Facebooks. Facebook page, Cecilin the Entertainer, or is it just Cecilin? Just Cecilin. Okay, very good. So, if you want But more, I am an entertainer. If you want more Cecilin, do that. And, of course, ChristopherCantwell.com for more Chris. Our toll-free number here ten, tonight again, 855-450-FREE. Let's go back to the phones, and we'll talk more about appealing to people's emotions and such uh, here in a moment. Straight Razor is first up, though, listening in Texas to LRN.FM. Hello, Straight Razor. Hello, good evening. So I called in about uh, gun control, but first off, one problem with recruiting a bunch of people who use mainly emotion um, as your force for good, I guess, is the one way of saying it. Um, the problem with them is they tend to spin like a top because they're only driven by that emotion. So what happens when somebody steps in and appeals to that emotion better and all of a sudden they're changing back and forth? It doesn't I, really look good. For I, I want to say to you, sir, thank you very much because that's the, probably the most important analysis that you could give of this but, is that they are volatile. And, you know, when you have radical ideologues who are, you know, fused with reason and emotional um, um reason and emotion you know you can have very good things with that but when somebody's entirely a libertarian based on emotion they are so susceptible to all this lefty social justice warrior nonsense that i think i is can so see terrible. where you're coming from there but could you reel somebody in with emotion and then explain the logic behind it i think you certainly could try but it, it might it might not go so well right i mean if people are entirely driven by their emotions they are they're terribly they are terrible at reasoning, right? Mm-hmm. So Maybe. if somebody is, well, but it's not I I mean, the best example of this. The most recent example of this is, and don't get me wrong, I'm not pulling for Trump, but whenever um, he had his press press conference and one, somebody interrupted, and the analysis from MSNBC, which we all know is a joke, was, well, yeah, the guy spoke out of turn, but it felt like we were removing a press member. So you had the logical analysis, but then her emotion immediately overrode that logical analysis and turned it back into they're so evil because it felt like they were evil. Hmm. Yep, I see where you're coming from. But um, as far as the gun control um, thing goes, um, people are going to do what they're going to do. Um, I hate to break it to a lot of people, but really a firearm is not— the best tool to use for mass murder. Um, Bombs and fire and a whole myriad of other things are a lot better at accomplishing killing a lot of people. Well, so you know what? That's that's why I think that we need to start a movement to ban fire. You know, I mean, mankind's <laughs> discovery of fire was really the beginning I, of the end. It was the beginning of the end. No question about it. What about or the wheel man? Just, just not just fire, but the wheel. Cars well, that's kill what a lot gave of us cars, too. and that's now you know, people are dying all over the street. Blood drenched pavement, polluting the air. Yeah. I mean, just awful. I think I think we need to limit the access to fire by just banning gasoline. That would be a lot easier. Hmm. That's basically what the Democrats yeah. want to do at this point, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> when you hear all this global warming nonsense, that's what they're aiming for. Exactly. So. It's, it's, it doesn't matter what you do. People are going to act on what they act on, and they will find a way to accomplish their goals. This gentleman could have just as easily killed all three of these people with, with a large knife. That's true, and or built a bomb with any manner of uh, easily accessible common store-bought chemicals, right? So, I mean, you can ban guns, you can ban knives, but you can't ban bleach or whatever the hell, fertilizer, various different things that, you know, you can use to make... I don't know what you can use to make bombs. I've never never done that. But well, you, never, you never no. browsed the anarchist cookbook? Oh, I've browsed the cookbook. That doesn't mean I've tried any of the uh, the recipes. Okay. <laughs> well, don't even you don't even have to do that. Go to Home Depot and you can buy some some fairly powerful acids that if you throw on somebody, you are really going to mess them up. So, I'll, I'll do that right it, after the show. <laughs> I, I have no want of any of this. What's that? The uh, Burning people with acid yeah. or fire or harming people in general. Certainly not. 
Uh, but some people do, and they're crazy. And I think uh, Straight Razor's point is solid that no matter what you try to ban, the psychopaths out there are going to find a way to damage other humans. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And when those psychopaths run up with a bunch of acid that they bought at the Home Depot, it'd be nice if you had a firearm on your hip to kill them before he throws it in your face. So, uh, thank you for the call tonight, Straight Razor. I appreciate hearing from you. Let's go to Socrates in Nashua, New Hampshire on Skype. Socrates, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian Cecilin and Cantwell. I believe we saw the problem 2,000 years ago when the trial and death of Socrates was an illustration through a man's sacrifice to illustrate the, the problem of an emotional appeal to try to dictate where society should go. And instead, taking a stand for logic and reason has lasted 2,000 years where the only person we know that was inside the trial itself was Socrates himself. That is much more far-lasting and, I would say, trend-setting than any type of emotional appeal you can do to, uh, to deceive somebody that's not intelligent in the first place. Yeah, this I mean, go, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Well, it just goes down to, like, I wanted to bring it back that there's, I do have a big problem with trying to persuade somebody through, in, basically through a use of uh, pathos appeals, which are inherently persuasive, but um, logically inconsistent. They're not valid, they're not valid paths to finding the truth. If you want to actually uh, convince somebody and persuade them, there's actually a, a method for intellectual growth. You get somebody one-on-one -on -one and you do Socratic questioning. To undercut this, uh, you know, to uncover their underlying uh, their underlying beliefs, and maybe see that they they can find a contradiction. Just today, I I had a global warming guy that screams global warming denier, global warming denier. So I decided to actually just give him a call, right? In about 20 minutes, I turned this guy from lambasting me, calling me, um, you know, a right wing conspiracy theorist, to somebody that actually looked at the data after I sent him a data set. And reconsidered his position on the on the thing. That shows character. That shows intellectual growth. And that shows human potential. I have a big problem with this article. I I, I agree with you that this sort of um, if you're if you're appealing to their emotions and and there's not. Um, reason infused into it then it's fundamentally going to be a useless thing but at the same time i don't think that most people analyze data sets when you send them to them mm -hmm. just like hey you're you know here is the correct information so that you can make yourself more informed very few people respond to that well you can also just pull up another data set that has different information right because you know whoever's doing the study can mold and sculpt the results based on the questions they ask or the way they you know put the data out there or interpret the data or whatever so you know the, the this so dueling studies thing never works out. Hmm? I just try to use the source that he used and was able to uh -huh. read the results from the exact source that he picked. But I said, why don't we actually look at the underlying uh, the underlying data points that make up this conclusion? And then he, he was able to, from his own graph, from his own numbers, be able to say, oh, wait, I can't make this conclusion. So being, being able to at least identify that. It was at least a step in the right direction. It's a very you rare to, thing that you're describing. Socrates. And most people, most people just say that they, they I don't have time for this. They That's want, true. They'll, they'll Everybody's busy. You. Thanks, Socrates, for your call would... tonight, man. I appreciate it. It's Free Talk Live. Uh, no way. Is that a real bullet necklace? No, it's a 9mm bullet necklace with matching earrings, you'll notice. Those are awesome. Where'd you get them? They found them at PatriotNecklace.com. Wow. They have a variety of calibers and necklaces and earrings and keychains. PatriotNecklace.com? PatriotNecklace.com. Your choice of caliber bullet includes a rugged American-made stainless steel dog tag chain. A percentage of every sale goes to military and service-related charities. And get a discount by entering GCN at checkout. Show your patriotism and support our troops with a bullet necklace from PatriotNecklace.com. KDArmor.com is your one-stop shop for the most affordable body armor, period. With packages starting at $169.99 and free shipping on every order, KD offers soft armor and rifle threat rated armor up to level 4. Go to KDArmor.com and get your body armor today while you still can. Mention this ad and receive a free tactical scarf for a limited time with any body armor package. That's KDArmor.com. Come and take it. Thousands of people seeking home security get ripped off every day, and the home security industry wants you to believe that's your only option. 
They've got hordes of salesmen out there trying to scare you into signing one of their long-term contracts. You get stuck writing huge checks month after month with no way out. It's robbery by contract, and it can cost you thousands. But there's a better way to protect your home. Simply Safe Home Security. Simply Safe has no contracts, none. You'll get award-winning 24/7 protection. Security professionals watching over your home, ready to instantly send police to the rescue for just fourteen. $99 per month. That's less than half what most companies charge. Protect your home the smart way. Visit simplysafedefense.com today for an exclusive 10% offer and get a free keychain remote worth $25. Only when you go to simplysafedefense.com. Simplysafedefense.com. My name's Clyde, age 59, and I reside in Florence, South Carolina. The doctors diagnosed me as having clogged arteries. Felt like I was carrying heavy concrete blocks around my feet and legs. I started taking heart and body extract as directed. It is less than three weeks and I'm like a young man again. It's unbelievable that an herbal formula can work so fast and so powerfully. Learn the secrets of an effective, natural, 100% organic nutritional supplement for a healthy heart and circulation at hbextract.com. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Hey, Berkey Guy here. Are you still drinking unfiltered tap water? Does your water contain chlorine or fluoride? Will you have drinkable water in an emergency? The Berkey Guy is here to help you remove these and other potential contaminants from your water, thus helping you drink clean, purified water. We offer Berkey water purification systems at the lowest available prices online. Don't go another moment without Berkey System. Over the last 10 years, we've helped thousands drink clean, purified water. Join them by visiting GoBerkey.com or call me, the Berkey Guy, at 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. This is Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live. You can join us here. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. We've got Skype. Skype username, lrn.fm. You can contact us there, get on the radio, talk about anything that happens to be on your mind. Uh, Is there value in appealing to emotion? I think it's uh, been an interesting discussion that we've had thus far, and we'll continue it. Also, I want you to know there's a movement in healthcare today. It's a movement of people that are ready to stand up and take charge of their healthcare. People like you and I who are tired of paying too much for healthcare and getting too little. People who are standing up for their values and letting their conscience make decisions based on timeless principles. It's a movement that is sweeping the nation, and you should be a part of it. Liberty HealthShare is leading the movement of people who are looking for an alternative to traditional health insurance. Liberty HealthShare is a healthcare sharing organization of people who are sharing the cost of healthcare in an easy and efficient way. You choose your own doctor, your own hospital, and live out your values in healthcare. Join the movement, and let's change healthcare for good. So drop on by LibertyHealthShare.org to get started. Learn more. LibertyHealthShare.org or call them toll free 855-58-LIBERTY. That's LibertyHealthShare.org at 855-58-LIBERTY. With you in studio, it's Ian. Cecilyn. And Cantwell. So uh, we just had Socrates on the line uh, a moment ago talking about appealing to people based on logic versus emotion and that... Uh, you know, you need to have logic behind whatever the emotional appeal is if it if it's going to have any kind of staying value uh, to folks. And, uh, you know, I, I think that that's, that seems right on to me. I mean, you, you can't just expect an appeal to emotion 
to convince somebody of uh, the ideas of liberty from a principled basis. I yeah, think. I mean, what, what, what the words that Socrates brought up were um, pathos and logos, right? And these are these are words that are references to uh, pathos is the appeal to a person's emotions. Logos, logos, logos is the, um, the where the word logic derives from. Okay, mm -hmm. and there's an, if you read like uh, Aristotle's on rhetoric, he talks about ethos. Pathos and logos, and ethos is like an appeal to authority, right? We say so. He was talking about um, he had given some global warming fanatic uh, some data set and got the person to reconsider their position because he had the data. Now that's incredibly unusual, right? Because well, what he pointed out and clarified was that he gave the person their own data back at them in a different way to look at it. But it usually doesn't matter because they're not, look. they're actually not thinking about it. Right. What 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 they're responding to is this emotional argument that they've been giving that uh, if we don't all you know they're they're being guilted into believing that they're destroying the planet and going to make this world so hostile to life that it will cause us to go extinct, which is nonsense. But of course, it makes people freak out, right? People don't like feeling responsible for the extinction of all life on Earth, and so that's a pretty powerful guilting tool. And normally, what you would do when you give them whatever the data is whether it's their own data set or something else what they will then do is beyond their little emotional thing they'll go to the ethos and they will go to the appeal, appeal to, authority, to authority and they will say oh well there's a 97 percent consensus amongst un climate change <laughs> experts that uh, that climate change is happening so all these people whose job it is to say that there's climate change and that it's uh, anthropogenic uh, human uh, cause uh the, the the people whose job it is to say that they say that and so that means that you're wrong and so it's completely useless. I got, um, I don't know if we, we don't have time to read the whole thing, but there's, I, I have this, I love this article by Murray Rothbard. Um, it's titled, Do You Hate the State? And he's talking about, so you've got like David Friedman's Machinery of Freedom uh, and Murray Rothbard's. It's a tough book for me to read. It was really kind of a dull book. Yeah. And the idea behind it now, you know, if you, if you, if you can get through the book, I mean, Friedman's talking about some really sensible stuff, right? But he's talking about this and everything is just some, some arid cost benefit calculation as Rothbard put it. Okay. And it's, and it's good, like logical information, but it's certainly not like a thrilling read and it's not, mm -hmm. it's not the most convincing of things for you to read. Whereas yeah. if you read, read um, Rothbard's For New Liberty, it's it's emotionally charged and there's logic and in it, right? So that's the, really the thing. That's that's what I talk about, like radicalism. It's it's that fusion of reason and emotion, right? Mm -hmm. If we've got, if you've got people who are coming and calling themselves libertarians just because they've had this emotional, you know, manipulation thrown at them and there's nothing else behind it, well, then you're going to end up with Antonio Bueller's, you're going to end up with, uh, with, um, uh, Oh, I can't believe that I'm, her name escapes me no, right now. the names now. don't matter. So, but you're going to end up with these social justice warrior fanatics who are, who are fundamentally not libertarians. They're just like, oh, well, I got really into this thing, and now I'm into this other thing, and now I'm into this other thing. Kathy Reisenwitz? There's Kathy Reisenwitz and... and um, I, I, I am absolutely Cassandra Fairbanks, right? So, like, you know, this one, she's down there, and you know, she's uh, on Anarchast talking about she became an anarcho-capitalist because she was an anarcho-communist, but then her anarcho-communist friends were making fun of her because she had a very expensive shoe collection. And I'm like, oh. well, you know, like, like communism plus shoes does not a capitalist make psychopath. <laughs> nothing else wrong with you. And so, you know, this is this is happening in libertarianism. The, the idea that Lauren's making here is that like libertarianism Libertarians are not using emotion enough, and I would say that they've used it entirely too much. We are surrounded by people who have no philosophical grounding whatsoever, and we're in ground zero of Libertarian 101. And, and we're surrounded by these people who have no philosophical grounding, who have not studied economics, and have no idea what they're talking about. This is toxic. It's not good for the movement, and I think that she's way off base. Well, uh, let me continue with her story here, or her uh, editorial piece from thenewsdoctors.com. Where she starts out by saying she needs to fight emotion or the libertarians need to fight emotion with emotion, but then goes on to claim that the strongest emotion is people's desire to have their weirdness accepted. And I don't agree with that at all, but let's go on here. She says, the truth is too many people in the community are focused on trying to introduce liberty to people with their words, but freedom is not just an idea, something that can be entirely communicated. It is more than that. It is an experience. People store their individuality away in a dark closet in a dark room most of the time. They're afraid that the world can't accept their weirdness, and the liberty movement's ability to accept anyone's weirdness is what makes the movement so endearing. At Porkfest, which is the yearly camping festival that the Free State Project throws here in New Hampshire, 
Uh, she says, I can be anyone I want. And uh, she says at Liberty Forum, which is another yearly gathering here, I can give talks on Satanism if that's my thing. At Liberty Fest, I can cheer for a cause and have a lot of other people in the room cheering with me. She says, do you know why this is so effective? Because people want to bring their weirdness out of the dark closet and shed light on it. Because that's what Liberty needs is more Satan worship. Because people <laughs> want to be accepted. What I'm reading here is that people just want to be accepted. And and, and I, that's great. That's great if that's something that's important to you. But I shouldn't have to accept everybody for everything. And because you have emotions and feels, that's great. But I shouldn't have to necessarily deal with that Uh I mean, as long as you're not a terrible person and you're trying to kill me, I, I probably won't hate you. But I mean, if you if your weirdness is you like to lick animals while you dance around in jello, I'm probably not gonna want to be around you. Yeah, and that's not okay. gonna be in the room for that. This is this goes back to what I was saying about the cultural libertarian stuff. Libertarianism is not a synonym for inclusivity. It's it that's nonsense, right? The the idea I, I do believe like we, we can we can sort of build communities around this simple idea of let's not initiate force against each other. But once that happens, people are going to start sectioning off. Let's they just do. deal with it, right? It's true. So you're gonna have people, you know. Whether it's whether it's a taste in music or whether it's you know sexual proclivities or whatever it is, yep. people are going to start sectioning off, and and that's going to happen. The idea that we need to appeal to people's emotions and say, hey, whatever lunatic behavior that you're dealing with, as long as it's not violent, you'll have a whole bunch of friends over here, is nonsense. She says they want to be proud of it, and she writes proud of it in all caps. And being proud of individuality is the only thing that's ever going to bring about liberty. Uh, mm, well, I don't know about that either. <laughs> how how being proud of individuality is going to end the state, uh, and, and uh, that just doesn't connect. Individuality, by the way, is not synonymous with being a weirdo, okay? Like, you don't have to go out of your way to just do completely odd things in order to separate yourself from other people. Like, mm -hmm. you could be a normal human being and still be an individual, right? Like, we can participate in, like, normal activities. We don't have to be like, hmm, I don't know, all this, all this stuff is just too, it's, it's collectivist because a lot of people are doing it, so I'm going to go off on the rails here, and I'm going to go do something completely ridiculous, and I'm going to say, look at how individualistic I am, and it's it's nonsense. You want to join us here? The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Is Lauren Rumpler onto something here, or is this a bunch of poppycock? This is poppycock. You can, poppycock. Yeah, you can join us here. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE, and I'm not saying don't let your freak flag fly. I mean, by all means, do. Uh, if that's what you feel so in call, so called to do, but don't think you're going to destroy the state just because you've decided to you know come out of the closet because you like to do X, Y, or Z. 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live. I have a 70-pound Royal Standard Poodle. Her name is Zelia. And three years ago, Zelia's ears were a mess. She would have sticky, gooey, smelly discharge in her ears. We took Zelia to the vet seven times of $150 every time. The vet offered no success at all. My wife and I are driving, and we hear some people on the radio saying D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E. 859-428-1000. The omega-3 fatty acids. Flaxseed, zinc, alfalfa. The digestive enzymes that are cooked out of regular dog food. Six days after I started feeding her Dinovite, my dog's ear problems were cured. My dog no longer yelps. She can be petted without pain, and it's because Dinovite made our dog healthy again. 859-428-1000. 859-428-1000. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. Are you excited about the World Wide Web? Do you want a place where you can share your ideas and express yourself? Well, dial up your modems and stream on down to the GCN Live Community Forum. Lots of radical features await you there. Wow, Internet guy, I am so glad I went to the GCN Live Community Forum. You too can discover why the World Wide Web is awesome. Just go to GCNlive.com slash forum. That's GCNlive.com slash forum. I'll see you in cyberspace. Space. Friend at GCN Live on Diasora and Cross.tv. We use mobile devices right against our bodies every day, but growing scientific evidence has emerged showing serious health risks associated with exposure to EMF radiation emitted from these devices. The solution is Defender Shield, the most effective mobile radiation shielding ever developed. Defender Shield blocks virtually 100% of EMF radiation from cell phones, tablets, and laptops and starts at just $64.99. Buy now at DefenderShield.com. For 10% off, use promo code GCN. DefenderShield.com, the worldwide leader in mobile radiation shielding. 
Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Quantitative easing, unemployment at depression levels, Europe financial system falling apart, China getting out of U.S. treasuries. At the end of 2008, the time of TARP, the national debt was at 11 trillion gold, trading around $850 per ounce. Close to 2012, the national debt exceeded 16.4 trillion, gold doubled to $1,600 per ounce. The 20 trillion threshold for the national debt is inevitable. Politicians in Washington have a ferocious appetite for spending and stimulus. What's worse, a printing press to finance. A hundred years ago, we had a gold standard to limit this madness, but now you have to adopt your own gold standard. Don't be fooled with paper promises. Get Midas Resources 10 Reasons to Buy Gold free by calling 800-686-2237. Understanding the gold and silver market may be the only insurance you could have to avoiding the next economic crisis. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order your free copy. Again, that's 800-686-2237. You are an individual with your own thoughts, decisions, and actions. So why should you be penalized for not enrolling in the subpar health insurance mandated by the government? Be truly independent. Visit libertyoncall.org. Libertyoncall.org is a bold, innovative alternative allowing you to take back control and make your own decisions about your health care. Mention this ad when you call to learn more. 800-714-6993. That's 800-714-6993. Libertyoncall.org. Call today. You're listening to Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live. Join us here on the radio waves, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We've got Skype. The Skype username for you to join us is lrn.fm, so feel free to do that uh, because usually you will sound a lot better when you call on Skype. Bitcoinist is the ultimate resource for Bitcoin industry news, reviews, education, and the latest in the cryptocurrency ecosystem. It's bitcoinist.net, so the word Bitcoin and I-S-T bitcoinist.net over there they've got a community forum breaking bitcoin and digital currency news they're covering fintech and blockchain tech news as well bitcoinist has sophisticated bitcoin network statistics a solid beginner's guide to bitcoin and more the bitcoinist platform serves the needs of everyone looking to keep up with bitcoin and digital currencies from beginners to experts so go and enjoy bitcoinist.net that's bitcoinist.net as we go to your calls and thoughts, Tom, listening in Baltimore, Maryland, online. Hello, Tom. Good evening, gentlemen. And there's hey, a lady here, too. Uh, hi, ma'am. How are you? <laughs> oh, I, don't, I don't call me ma'am. That's just <laughs> offensive. Anyway, go ahead with your point or whatever. Uh, I missed a lot of the show tonight. If I could ask you guys, the coast over here has been down with the Internet. Um, and at times, it's up but very intermittent. The coast so, has been down? I missed what you said there. The what? The, co the coast, as far as the internet. It was reported yesterday there was a major blackout that the net went down for a large part of the day. So what you're saying uh, is in Baltimore or in your area of Baltimore, there's internet outages? Yes. Oh, that's a bummer. Uh, I, I know that uh, stock trading um, telephonically uh, – which uh, utilizes the internet was down for part of the day. That was reported. Now, are um, you saying that down. that uh, the entirety of your area was down, or just your internet service provider? Because usually, See, that's when why I'm hmm? that's why I'm asking. Um, you know, I, I don't know um, if it's the entire area. It was reported. That I suspect it, was. it is. Uh, it is just your provider. There are, you know, usually these internet service providers have outages due to various different factors. You know, some sort of piece of equipment goes bad, or some kind of power outage somewhere, or whatever. Uh, but usually they'll get it fixed. And is it still out, or has it been remedied? It's, it's been 
intermittent actually for the past three days. I think you need to uh, call your ISP. I yeah. just I just searched I just searched for internet outage Maryland, and I'm not seeing like headlines about yeah. this. You should call your uh, your tech support department and see what the heck's going on. It's probably it could just very well be your own line, uh, or have you received similar reports from others? It's tech well, support it's live, eight fifty five, four fifty free. <laughs> It's been reported both on television and on the radio. That's, Have you that's tried turning it off and then back on? <laughs> Did you push and hold the reset button in the back of the router? Anyway, try but, try deleting your cookies. Let, 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 let me get to my point. I, I like this new guy, by the way. <laughs> yeah, he's good. Where he's going with his uh, logic is, is beautiful uh, and very true. Uh, if he expands that out and takes it to its logical conclusion, I think he'll find himself in territory that uh, it gets a little hanky. Um, where, where would it go from the separation once you decide to be peaceful with your fellow man? Um, I'm just interested in, in hearing where you're going to take this. I think I know where it ends up. I don't know if you do. I'm a little confused. I'm yeah. not sure I understand your question, pal. Well, you were talking about if you're going to approach your fellow man in a nonviolent way, decide to be peaceful, people would uh, end up segregating themselves. And yeah. He didn't take it any further. And what I he was talking about was the, the liberty movement in general. The, uh, as the movement grows, yeah. there will be uh, different schisms within it and different subgroups that are sort of become present. Yeah, maybe I should explain my experience a little bit better, and maybe that'll make a little and bit thanks, more Tom, sense. thanks, Tom, for your right? call tonight. We, I appreciate we, it. We are in New Hampshire, and there's a concerted effort. Some people refer to it as the Free State Project. I have no use for that corporation. But uh, you know, we are involved in a political migration where people are coming to this state in order to uh, you know to change the society, and what happens is we have uh, some political ideas which we loosely ag agree on, but then we're coming together and we're trying to live in you know confined spaces with each other, and there are personality conflicts, mm -hmm. and these are not uh, you know we cannot all be friends, we cannot really all act as uh, members of a, a singular community, and so there are these schisms and divisions, and people go off in their own directions, and I don't think there's anything like inherently wrong about that the only you know alternative to that that i could possibly tolerate is ever if everybody agreed with me on everything so uh short of that uh you're going to have people be rejecting of other people's ideas and social behaviors and whatnot and there's nothing wrong with that yeah i, I think that there is nothing wrong with that but unfortunately there are people that are sort of on the outside looking in who get dissuaded by the schisms and there's really nothing we can do about that there are certain people who will say Oh, you free staters or you New Hampshire activists, there's all this drama up there. I'm not coming anywhere where there's drama. Yeah, go try and to get involved with the Republican or Democratic parties and see if there's not some, some drama. drama in there. The well, entire the entire political system is set up around infighting. The whole entire point of a primary is for candidates to fight each other, to decide who gets to go on to fight the other guy. Everything about this is arguments, and I can't believe that libertarians can't see that. That and and where they're where they're coming from, like you said, when you come from Florida, you know there were there were what like eight people that would come to your Liberty meetups. Yeah, maybe. So they're not used to there being enough people for there to be actual groups and divisions. And it doesn't mean that any anyone's uh, opinion is any less valid or anything, or that we're not working towards the same goal of reducing the size and scope of the government. Uh, I would prefer one day for it just to be gone. Um, sure. But we just don't get our long personality rise, and you know. Okay, well, and I don't really like each other, but we're able to coexist on a show right now. That's what I love. Uh, you know, people with big enough, uh, big enough people to be able to put a, a disagreement aside. Okay, and, well, and I are big enough people. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> and you know, just get a job done, whatever that activism or whatever that thing in the moment is. And I think we do have a lot of those people here, but there are people who will get bogged down in, in petty matters. And uh, it's just the reality of people. It's just that, you know, any group that gets larger than 20, you're going to start to see schisms and splits and disagreements and things like that. And 20 may be a little on the, the high side. Yeah. And this is this is, this is this is where the article goes wrong in my book, because she's like, people just want to be accepted for whatever weird stuff that they're doing. And I'm like, well, no, that's that's foundationally just not going to happen. That's not how human societies function. And if you think that if you think that the way to obtain freedom is to completely uproot human nature nature and throw it in the garbage can well i'm sorry to tell you ladies and gentlemen you're gonna have a really hard time doing 
that. The state is not a small obstacle. So if you want to go and completely and foundationally alter everyone's social behaviors in the process, that's not going to work out well for you. You're just creating more jobs. So for those out there who hear about uh, whatever drama has the you know occupied the Facebooks for the moment up here in New Hampshire, uh, you should know that it's blown out of proportion. When something shows up on Facebook, it it is almost never as seemingly important in real life uh, between the various different parties. Most of the people involved in whatever the dramatic thing are able to exist in the same room together and are able to at least be cordial in person. If most you of think the time. Facebook, if you think Facebook is real life, then go ahead and try to get your food from Farmville. <laughs> I'm serious. Go ahead, give it a shot. It won't pan out well for you. Yeah. And if you're trying to get your social interactions out of that website, it's not going to work out any better for you either. Exactly. People spend entirely too much time on that toxic cesspool of of nihilistic and e- e- egotistical garbage that is Facebook. And it's and it's and it's toxic. It's terrible. I totally Stop it. agree. I wish I didn't have to spend so much time on it myself. I have a, a love hate relationship with it. But my my main point here is uh, you don't know what this is like until you can get here and experience it. And this comes back to something you were saying, Cecilyn, the experience of coming to be in a community of people who actually care about freedom is a pretty uh, interesting one. There's nothing nothing at all in the world that can even come close to what it's like here in this community uh, in New Hampshire. And yes, being part of a community means some of those community members will not get along and they will disagree. And we just have to understand that and move on. And one of my favorite things after being here for four years is seeing new movers come here and just completely become the person that they've always wanted to be. And it's not because people are accepting here, but because they feel comfortable enough because they're around people who at at some level have the same base principles as them, you know, non-aggression, that type of stuff. They're able to be the person they want to be. And maybe, maybe they're able to come out of their closet, not because people are accepting of them, but because people aren't being critical of them or telling them that, you know, society says you need to be this, you know, people have the freedom to do what they want with their lives. And the the folks that are here, let other people do what they want in their lives because that's what we want to do. No, 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 no. Hang on a second. So go ahead. Uh, Oh. Stand by, Cantwell. We'll continue the discussion here. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. we got plenty of time for you to join us here. Plus, coming up, the Ashley Madison hack. As you know, gigabytes of data were released from this uh, cheating website. But who was cheating on who? Well, it looks like it was actually just a bunch of guys talking. We'll give you more about that coming up. It's Free Talk Live. When the leading antihistamine and Nasacort go nose to nose, Nasacort wins, stopping more of the chemical responses that can cause your nasal allergy symptoms. And when you stop more causes, you get 24 hour relief from sneezing, an itchy runny nose, even congestion. It's prescription strength medicine available over the counter. Nasacort allergy 24 hour stops more of what makes you miserable. Use as directed. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Sciatica, lower back pain, hip pain, poor posture. If you suffer from any of these problems, get ready to relax. Introducing an amazing product that's been in the market for over 25 years, the Sacro Wedgie. It was invented by a football coach using a common sense osteopath technique. He created this device to help his athletes by isolating and supporting the sacrum, which is the keystone of our anatomy. This wedge-shaped bone is in the center of our hips, where a lot of pain starts. Simply relax 20 minutes daily on the amazingly simple Sacro Wedgie and let Gravity do the work, helping muscles rebalance and start releasing nerves. Sit in the sacro wedgie at the computer or while traveling to help correct posture to finally help relieve those stubborn aches and pains for only $33.95. It's made in the USA, so click the family-owned website at sacrowedgie.com, spelled S-A-C-R-O-W-E-D-G-Y.com, or call 1-800-737-9295. That's 1-800-737-9295. Relax your back pain away with the sacro wedgie. 
Exposing the lies. USA prepares with Vincent Finelli. GCN. With SRN News, I'm Keith Peters in Washington. Washington outsiders are leading among likely voters in the upcoming South Carolina GOP primary. Three in ten back Donald Trump, while Ben Carson is a distant second, according to the just-released poll from Monmouth University. All the others come in with single digits. Jeb Bush is third, followed by Marco Rubio and Carly Fiorina. Native son Lindsey Graham gets little love from his home staters. He comes in at number eight with only 4% support. Wally Hines reporting. Meanwhile, Democrats are meeting in Minneapolis, and many of the candidates for that party's nomination for president are appearing, including Hillary Clinton, former Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley, and Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders, who says Democrats face losses at the polls next year unless they can generate a big voter turnout. With all due respect, and I do, do not mean to insult anyone here, that turnout, that enthusiasm, will not happen with politics as usual. Also at SRNnews.com, Tropical Storm Erica is buffeting the southern coast of the Dominican Republic. It's already killed at least 20 people in the island of Dominica, where another two dozen people are missing. The prime minister says the storm has set back the island 20 years. Forecasters say they'll have a better idea in the next 24 hours whether Erica will regroup, dissipate, or just be a rainstorm when it reaches Florida. Florida Governor Rick Scott says residents should prepare as best they can for Erica. We're going to do everything we can. Uh, we have a great state for emergency preparedness. Uh, we've got a great National Guard in our state, but all of our citizens have to be active. You've got to, uh, you've got to take care of yourself before we can help you. The governor has also declared a state of emergency. On Wall Street, the Dow down by 12 points, the Nasdaq up 16, the S&P advance one, oil up to 45.22 a barrel. This is SRN News. Paid non attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas, is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice, and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisements. Services may not be available in all states. Attention, this is an important announcement for anyone who had surgery to implant a blood clot device. If you or a loved one had a surgery in the past 10 years and your doctor used an IVC filter to trap blood clots, call 800 281 3248 right now. These devices can be life threatening, and you may be entitled to cash compensation. The FDA is evaluating adverse events caused by these blood clot devices, which can lead to serious injury and even death. These devices could break and lead to serious injury. Please call 800-281-3248 now. Time is limited. Call 800-281-3248 if you or a loved one has one of these dangerous blood clot devices, as you may be entitled to a cash award and compensation. Our toll-free phone lines are open 24-7. Call 800-281-3248. That's 800-281-3248. 800-281-3248. An American business group has urged to China to allow more access to its insurance and other service industries. The American Chamber of Commerce's foreign skills could help develop China's volatile stock markets and cope with disasters such as the recent chemical explosion in Tianjin. On a visit to China, chamber officials said allowing more competitors into banking, logistics, and other markets would support the communist leadership's plans to nurture service industries. They added it would reduce reliance on trade and investment to drive economic growth. That's Jeremy House reporting. North Carolina prosecutors have decided against retrying a white police officer who shot and killed an unarmed black man after his trial ended last week in a deadlock. Randall Carrick had been accused of voluntary manslaughter in the September 2013 death of Jonathan Farrell, a former college football player. The jury in the case deadlocked in favor of acquittal. This is SRN News. As the U.S. and South Korea conclude two weeks of joint military exercises near the border with North Korea, tensions between the two Asian nations are easing. There are signs that both North and South Korea have softened their hard stances towards each other. North Korean state media said military officials have been sacked, prompting speculation in the South that Kim Jong-un was unhappy about how his military dealt with a standoff. Nobody thinks peace and friendliness have broken out, but there is reassessment in Seoul and Pyongyang. BBC correspondent Steve Evans reporting from Seoul. 
The U.S. military says an Islamic State group hacker who was killed in a U.S. airstrike in Syria had been recruiting sympathizers in the West to carry out lone wolf terrorist attacks. The hacker was also responsible for the recent release of identifying information of about 1,300 government employees. More details at srnnews.com. I'm Keith Peters in Washington. We the people grow cotton, we fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carting to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Owe $10,000 or more to the IRS? Get on board with the tax admiral. Don't pick on the IRS alone. I'll cut penalties and reduce your overall tax bill. Sometimes I can even get it zeroed out completely. We're an A-rated company helping people clean up their mess with the IRS. If you owe $10,000 or more, then call the tax admiral. Call 800-287-7180. Again, that's 800-287-7180. 800-287-7180. This is Free Talk Live. You're welcome to join us here at 855-450-FREE, 855-450-3733. Coming up, the data from the Ashley Madison hack. People have been poring over it, analyzing it, and they have discovered what shouldn't really be a shock, and that is that there were hardly any women on the website. That's... I'm looking forward to getting to this story. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, and speaking of uh, the I'ms and the who's, it's Ian here in the studio. Sasselin. And Cantwell. Let's go to your phone calls and thoughts first. And first up, we've got Dave in Montana. He's on Skype. Hello, Dave. Hey, yo. Hey, Long Dave. live free talk live, man. Welcome, sir. Go ahead with your thoughts tonight. Hey, uh, I seen today Hitler uh, called the GOP terrorists for the well, way they for what they think about women's health. If she's calling pe half the country terrorists, just imagine if she was president, she'll treat half the country half like Half the country terrorist. are not members of the GOP. I would just like to clarify that. Uh, I'm not GOP or yeah. Demi uh, Rem Democrat. I don't know myself. what the percentage is. I care less of each. But yeah, it's I a, suspect it's, about, it's less than a quarter. Yeah, um, maybe 33 each or something. Right, because only 30. so many people even care about politics. Of those people, only so many of them are actually, but, you know, registered I can't Republicans see or Democrats. How she, how she get off calling them terrorists, man. The, the, once, the fact of the matter the is, Republican or not, Republican or not, Hillary would absolutely treat more than half the country as terrorists because her her. her, her her premise is foundationally that everyone who disagrees with her radical agenda is 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 a terrorist that that, that yeah, she can strike out violently at. against anybody who would stand in her way. Well, you know, from one perspective, she's absolutely right uh, that the Republicans are terrorists, but of course, so are the Democrats. These are people who are willing to use force to achieve aggressive force, to achieve their social goals, and that is, by definition, terrorism. But she's making a very specific reference. She's no, talking about women's reproductive health, which is another word for, hey, fund my abortion clinic, you maniacs. <laughs> Selling human parts, man. Yeah, That's let's, what let's give you $540 million a year out of government funds that are extracted from me violently, and then you're going to go rip babies out of women and take them apart and sell them to the highest bidder. It's sick. Call it Call it waste and sell it as as waste product. Yeah. That's what they're oh, and by the way, and they're charging women for the abortions. By the way, so it's it's they're getting five hundred forty mm -hmm. million dollars a year from the government. Then they're dismembering infants and selling them, and they're charging women for the things. And they're like, we need more money. Can you donate to us? That's Planned and Parenthood. It's sick. Terrorists. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm a terrorist for saying that. That's sick and depraved. Thank you, Hitler, Hillary Clinton. Dave, thanks for your call tonight. Appreciate it. I'm telling you, if that woman gets elected, I'm leaving this country. Are you really? I am done. I can't do it. Wow. Where are you gonna go? I I was thinking about Mexico, but now Berwick made me angry, and I gotta go find <laughs> another place. <laughs> Toll free number tonight: eight fifty five four fifty free. Cecilin. I, I don't I, I kind of want Hillary to get elected now so I can see Chris try to find a place to go outside of the United States. Not because I want you to leave, but because I want you to find somewhere that's not Anarcho Puco. 
I, you know, it's difficult because the, the gun thing is the biggest problem, right? I mean, like, you could go places that have, like, lesser taxes and less general government intervention in your life, but to, like, you know, just walk around with a handgun is not a thing that you can do in most of the world. Well, and this is the thing I think about uh, the folks who want to go to another country to escape from the United States. Look, I don't blame you. By all means, if that's what you feel like you should do, go for it. Uh, there's no doubt that you can live sort of off the grid or away from uh, people and be left more alone by some other governments in the world, perhaps, than here. But don't be surprised when you find out there's a Hillary in whatever country that you've just moved into, right? Like the, the uh, Mexican equivalent of Hillary, whoever that is. Uh, well, Mexico's is, awful. Yeah. It's just the only thing that was, you know, Berwick had going for him in Mexico was that the government was like collapsing, right? So like well, the police so went claimed. on strike and they were just like, get lost. We don't need you, right? But but at but the same time, back. The, the actual laws, yeah, the, the actual structure of the government in Mexico is atrocious, right? That's why people are, you know, fleeing across their, their northern border into the United States all the time. So, yeah, I, I suspect that uh, anybody who goes to another country and if you can somehow manage to not pay attention to what's going on around you, to not know what sort of political wranglings are going on, what sort of uh, aggressions from the state are being committed against peaceful people, then I suppose you could probably be okay in a place like that. If you could somehow occlude yourself from all information uh, and any interactions with government agents, then it could be a pleasant thing to be there. But I just feel like the people that are like us who believe in freedom so much that we've actually moved, all of us, the three of us, have moved here to New Hampshire from various other places in search of more freedom to get together with other people like us because freedom matters. And how you could then just leave that aside, that that particular viewpoint, and try to avoid any any contact with you know the the reality of what's going on around you, the the people who are being harmed on a day to day basis, because they're being harmed in you know in uh, Costa Rica or New Zealand or you know wherever it is that you would end up going to, and how you could avoid knowledge of that, and then how you can avoid doing wanting to do something about it. I I don't I don't know. I guess you just have to shut down. It's something. not it's not a matter of avoiding the knowledge of the fact that people are being victimized by yeah. governments. It's a matter of living to fight another day. I am terrified. I mean, I'm in New Hampshire and and you know, this is one of the more libertarian leaning places that you could find yourself yeah. and I'm I can I can't believe how many Bernie Sanders signs I see out on people's lawns. It's crazy. I'm I'm sitting under the boot of the most powerful government in the history of mankind and there are times when I'm like I might want to go get under some lighter boot. Well, you do live in the the sort of the lefty town or one of the lefty towns in New Hampshire. Cecilyn, you live in Manchester. Are you seeing a lot of Bernie Sanders uh, out that way? Yes, because the college kids love him. They uh, absolutely, he's going to give them all the free things that they've ever wanted. Effing college, academia. College kids also loved Ron Paul, right? Like Ron Paul filled stadiums full of college students, didn't he? And this is what we get for appealing to people's emotions. Well, we have a lot of liberal arts colleges up here. Like uh, Keene State is totally like a poly, po uh, party liberals. Mm -hmm. I mean, you had that one time... You were walking around downtown Keene, and there was a... Uh, a um, Rally against rape culture, these fanatics. And you were just starting to having conversation with people, and then they ended up calling security on you because they were offended by the questions you were asking them wow. yeah. you on public domain. You're not allowed to challenge the rape culture myth on the Keene State College campus. That'll get security after you. Yeah, I'm supposed to accept that we live in a culture where it's okay to drag a woman behind a dumpster and brutally screw her while she screams for help that yeah that's that's the culture that we live in wonderful so look i mean bernie sanders is going to get traction in a lot of places because he's you know he's giving stuff away to people right and that's what people want they want freebies they want to feel like uh, someone cares about them and uh, he's got this very populist message that appeals to a lot of people's desires. Yeah, but once upon a time, a Democrat had to pretend they weren't a socialist in order to th see a, a real prospect of getting elected in America. Mm -hmm. Now, socialism's on the front burner. It's just like, you know what, let's just stop trying to pretend that it's progressive or, or democratic or, you know, or, 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 you know, liberal. It's just, no, let's just call it socialism now. That's, that's the point that the politics in this country so, are getting to, and it's scary. But you'd rather see Bernie Sanders elected than uh, Hillary Clinton? That's it's a tough one. It's a tough one. Um, I, 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 you know, Hillary comes off as like just the epitome of evil to me. Whereas uh -huh. like B Bernie Sanders, you can almost try to think that he means well, right? Hmm. And but at the same time, Bernie's policies are inherently worse, 
right? And the, you know, the Hillary Clinton thing about, about her too is that I'm I'm terrified of what she's going to do to the to the feminist movement in this country, right? Like my relationships with women are affected by the lunacy that's going on on college campuses preaching about this rape culture patriarchy nonsense, and I don't want anything to do with these people. And I'm already like in a in a circle that's g- almost completely male dominated, and then I don't want anything to do with women. Well, I mean, her almost and her I'm entire. I'm straight for the record. <laughs> her, her, her almost her entire platform is based off of elect me. I'm a woman. Aren't you ready to mm. have a woman president? And I actually ran into this back in in 2008 when Obama first ran. I had a coworker tell me that he was going to vote for Barack Obama because he was black like him, and oh, because boy. he he wanted to see a black man. In, in the presidency. Of course. And so now what I see as all the women supporters of Hillary Clinton is like, I'm ready for a woman president and I'm ready for Hillary. But she has awful economic type things. I watched this uh, video of her talking to people from Black Lives Matter and she flat out told them that she doesn't think that people can change. Only policy and procedure can change. Oh my. So yeah. she wanted to change policy and procedure because people, people can't change. We just have to use the force of the state to accomplish everything. Don't you know that's stupid? Well, of course, the Republicans aren't much better. 855-450-FREE. That's the uh, toll-free number. You can join us. 855-450-3733. Whoever wins in uh, 2016, you'll lose. Every once in a while, you get information that's worth changing your life for. This is one such time. You can save up to and beyond 25% on all purchases at Amazon. You probably heard of Bitcoin and just not thought much about it. You certainly know that you can get competitive pricing at Amazon, but now you can get a 25% discount on nearly everything you need to live. I've just given you a huge raise, and all you have to do is claim it. You go to purse.freetalklive.com and open an account. Do this right now. Don't wait. Then you fund the account with Bitcoin. You can buy them through expresscoin.com with a check or money order. There are other ways to get Bitcoin, but that's fast, safe, and easy. This information is worth you changing the way you do things. Go to purse.freetalklive.com right now and get signed up and cash in on the huge raise I'm offering you. 25% off of everything on Amazon through purse.freetalklive.com. It's purse.freetalklive.com. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation you control what you watch when you watch it record your favorite shows pause and rewind live tv even skip the commercials watch local channels too at just 19.99 what are you waiting for pull out your major credit or debit card call 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV say goodbye to the cable guy cut costs and get more 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to produce an endless supply of nano-sized silver solutions right from the convenience of your home. Silver Lungs. With the addition of our unique lung delivery system, respiratory infections are targeted directly, where traditional oral administration simply cannot reach. This pioneering method also preserves the original particle sizes and delivers your silver solution directly into the bloodstream. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at silverlungs.com. That's silverlungs.com. That's the sound your brain makes when you realize you're buying something and forgot the coupon. Online or in a store, knowing that you're missing a deal is the worst. You need the app from Retail Me Not right now. Get thousands of coupons from 50,000 stores like Kohl's, Domino's, Best Buy, and more with crazy deals like 60% off, free shipping, and free gifts with purchase. You can get a text invite to download the Retail Me Not app 100% free right now for Apple or Android. Just text the code 
Update to 42767. Then, just show your phone at checkout to save. It literally couldn't be easier. It's 2015. Keep your coupons in your phone. Stop what you're doing and text UPDATE to 42767. Listeners will get a text with a link to download it 100% free. Never forget another coupon again. Text the code UPDATE to 42767 right now. That's UPDATE to 42767. Message and data rates may apply. For terms and privacy, visit RetailMeNot.com. Okay, open your mouth and say, ah. Ah. When your child has a sore throat, you need to know when to get help. The doctor recommended Say Ah Sore Throat Exam is your solution. The scientifically designed oral retractor offers a clear view of the throat, relaxing the tongue and minimizing gag reflex. Compare with a medical grade chart, website, and app. Then you'll know just what to tell your doctor. A wellness plan in your hands in minutes. Go to sayahahnow.com. Sayahnow.com, the new mainstay for every family's first aid kit. Now, more Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live. You can join us here. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Joining you in the studio, you've got Ian. Cecilin. And Cantwell. Express Coin, the best choice for getting your cryptocurrencies. Whatever you're looking for, maybe it's Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dogecoin. They've got those at ExpressCoin.com. It's fast, safe, easy, and it's inexpensive. They're a licensed money services business, so they've jumped through those government hoops, so you don't have to uh, worry too much about that. Uh, you can get your cryptocurrencies with money order or check from ExpressCoin, whether you're in the U.S. or Canada. Pretty much anybody can use ExpressCoin, unless you're in New York. If you are in New York, you could always use a, a VPN service like ProXPN. We'll tell you about that in a little bit. Uh, but you can do it from your smartphone by downloading their app, and you can use coupon code FTL, which stands for Free Talk Live. Coupon code FTL will get you up to $40 worth of cryptocurrency with no fee whatsoever. So if you've been looking for a reason to get into Bitcoin, well, we gave you a good reason earlier, 20, 25% off of Amazon when you go to saveitpurse.com. So if you're ready to go and get some Bitcoin and save big at saveitpurse.com, just go to expresscoin.com or you can translate your cash into Bitcoin. And if it's less than $40 worth, there's no fee when you use code FTL at expresscoin.com. All right. So you can dial in here. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. We've got Skype as well. The Skype username is lrn.fm. We've actually had a lot of Skype calls tonight, which is always good because Skype sounds better. Uh, here's the Ashley Madison story, unless you guys have more to say about no. uh, Hillary Let's Clinton. Let's go to Ashley Madison. Uh, story from businessinsider.com's Matt Rosoff. The Ashley Madison hack has revealed a lot of interesting things about the men who used the extramarital dating site including which cities, states, and universities they're from. But what about the women? It turns out there may not have been very many women, as in almost none. Gizmodo editor-in-chief Annalie Newitz analyzed the data from the site's user database. For those that don't know, this is a, a website, a Ashley Madison. It uh, was in encouraging people to cheat, and uh, they would you know, ostensibly hook you up with people with whom you could cheat, and in fact, Chris, you told us that they even have a $250 a month guaranteed cheat level of package. A guarantee affairs for $250, right. which I rung a bell to me because that's about the average going price for your average Craigslist murder victim. And by that you mean Prostitute. uh, prostitution. <laughs> so uh, so then anyway, they got hacked by this group. This group uh, threatened the company behind the website, the Ashley Madison Company. They said, look, you either pull your site down or we're going to release all this data. They refused to pull the site down, so they released gigabytes worth of data. It was uh, 10 gigs in the first release and then another 20 gigs after that. And this data has credit card numbers. It's got uh, email addresses. It's got passwords. It apparently even has the message history for everybody that was on the site. Oh, wow. So, you know, you want to learn kinky things about your neighbors. You want to you want to learn about people's freak flag. Go ahead and read the <laughs> Ashley Madison uh, database. I imagine you'll find some interesting stuff. So there was all that. And so people have been digging through these gigabytes of data over the last, what, week and a half since this, uh, this news hit. And so Annalie Newitz analyzed the data, and she found a lot of suspicious stuff, suggesting that nearly all of the female accounts on the site were fake, 
maintained by the company's employees. And Chris, you had told us a little bit about this uh, last week. Well, I'm, I'm interested to see how she's coming to that conclusion. Now, I certainly, I signed up for Ashley Madison uh, some some number of years ago. And I, I've never been married. I wasn't cheating on mm-hmm. a wife. I just figured it'd be a nice place to meet women with dirty knees. And so when I signed up, before I had even... Did you say dirty needs or dirty knees? <laughs> knees. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, so, yes, it's a, a, a obscure reference to um, oral. So <laughs> Yeah, we got it. Yeah, so, uh, you know. Anyway, so when I signed up, before I had even, like, created my profile or put up a picture or anything like that, I'm getting messages from women, you know. <laughs> and the thing is... Something suspicious here. Y- yeah, exactly. You know, I'm like, given oh... That, did- given that on dating sites, it's, you know, relatively uncommon to, uh, you know, have the women send a message in the first place... Is usually the the male who is uh, is the lead on things like that, right? Unless you unless you are like the most attractive man on the dating site, yeah. which you know might well have been the case when I signed up. You had but, no picture though, <laughs> but I had not yeah. uploaded a picture or done so much as post a description of myself before I'm getting bombarded with messages. And the way Ashley Madison works is that if you, you you'll be notified that you've gotten messages. But in order to read them and respond to them, you must pay Pay Ashley Madison. So I I can't imagine, I don't understand how so many people fell for this scam that you're like, oh, you just signed up for this website. Desperate horny. I mean, that's how they fell for it. (laughs) They just thought that like, oh, wow, I haven't even uploaded a photograph yet and six women already want to sleep with me. You know, there's that little too good to be true thing that should go (laughs) off in your head, fellas. Uh, And it it, it was absolutely crazy. So I- Right, so you got to pay 20 bucks. Then you can go in and read these spam emails right right and, and respond to them respond and- to them and presumably uh since they were sent they were obviously sent from an automatic system you're probably going to be talking to a bot or a company employee or mm-hmm. something like that and you know you if they're if they're guaranteeing affairs for 250 dollars and you've got to imagine that there are some women on there uh and that you know if, if nothing else they'll pay one to go sleep with you uh but there is obviously a lot of fake stuff going on with that site and uh, according to the s- the database that people were pouring over. One of the guys here locally was looking through it and looking at New Hampshire names, for instance. He did find one guy who was paying two hundred and fifty dollars a month to this website. Yeah, and and if you, you, know, and you if don't pay, and if you're getting and if you're getting laid for that, I mean, if you're a guy into like procuring the services of prostitutes, then that's it's not the worst deal in the world, frankly. So her here's the official numbers from BusinessInsider.com. The info that the hackers published contained about thirty one million accounts apparently belonging to men, and about 5 million supposedly belonging to women. But when Newitz dug deeper, she found a bunch of test accounts that ended with AshleyMadison.com, suggesting they were created internally, and by the way, 90% of those accounts were were there for women, uh, as well as 350 female accounts for people with the same and very unusual last name. Then she found three really damning pieces of data. Only 1,492 of the women in the database had ever opened their inboxes to check their messages on the site. That compared with more than 20 million men. So basically, as far as even if, you know, even if those, uh, let's just presume all 1,492 of those women were actual women users of the site, you had 20 million active men who were basically chasing after the same 1,400 uh, women. So that's interesting, um, and I'm and I'm a little bit confused, because I had read something in the New York Post today talking about this subject, and, and she did not go into the messages of the women to, to say if they had opened their inboxes or not. They're, she was talking about the credit card transactions were almost entirely All male. All male, but that, that yeah. yeah, but that's not but that's not surprising, because women did not have to pay to read messages and initiate contact oh, with Oh, really? Men. So that was, uh, I was going to, so I thought I had So anyone could this- sign up? and claim to be a woman and just, you know, troll the guys, right? Yeah, certainly. I mean, that that can happen. Yep. Um, you better believe it was in this case. Yeah. Uh, only 2,409 of the women had ever used the site's chat function compared to more than 11 million men, and only 9,700 of the women had ever responded to a message from another person on the site versus almost 6 million men. Now, this number was greater than the number of women who checked messages because it's possible to answer messages in bulk when you first visit the site without ever opening your inbox, apparently. That's odd. Maybe if you're a woman, perhaps. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I, You're the only one who's been on the site. Yeah, so that's why I'm looking I, at you. I, 
Nope. Once they said I had to pay them to read messages, I was like, I'm not using this no more. Yeah, all right. We'll tell you more about it. And you can join us here, 855-450-FREE. It's Free Talk Live. So I say to Mark at lunch, look, you know, I keep hearing from the government that, you know, they're worried someday ISIS may get here. And I go, duh, uh, Garland, Texas, Muhammad cartoon shooting. ISIS is already here. I'm not waiting for these people to defend me. I, if they don't know ISIS is here already, they got no clue. I'm taking care of myself. Guns80.com, AR-15 kits, 30-shot magazines, great prices. They've even got the Hillary special. Guns80.com, that's 844-2-GUNS-80, guns80.com. Paid non attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas, is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice, and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention, Zarelto users. If you or a loved one took Zarelto and suffered a serious bleeding event, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Zarelto is a popular prescription blood thinner used to prevent blood clots and protect patients from strokes. These serious bleeding events have led to numerous cases of hospitalization and even death. Phone lines are open 24 7. Call 800 961 That's 800 961 On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? Hello, WebKeys. Hello. Hi there, I hear you. All right. But I was not hearing you before. So cool. that was just because I wasn't listening. Cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so is there anything we need to work on with the audio or anything No, you like sound that? fine. Awesome. All right, uh, let's see. Topic of discussion is what? Uh, let's see. Economy. The, the economy and, and the recent uh, spike in... Uh, okay, the, that's the, good the, enough. Stand yep. by. Okay. That's 1-800-686-2237. We we are a survival company. We manufacture our own line of Level 3 and Level 3A body armor. We proudly make our armor 100% in America. We have the best prices in the nation, about $125 cheaper than our nearest competitor. All lab certified, for thou art my rock and my fortress. Psalm 31.3. We are Fortress Survival LLC. Dot, dot, dot com. You pick up the receiver with your heart racing and sweat dripping from your forehead. You finally muster the courage to dial the number to call into your favorite talk radio show. It rings once, twice, and then. Hello, it's GCN. What's your name and the state you're calling from? Surprised you got through, you squeak out. Jason from Minnesota. Please hold. As you patiently wait for your turn, you begin to daydream about being a famous talk radio host and what it would be like to have your own show. Jason from Minnesota, you're up. Millions of loyal listeners worldwide waiting to call and talk to you. You. Caller, are you there? Cheering crowds surround you, calling out your name. Jason! Jason! Going once, twice. Okay, we gotta move on to the next caller. You blew it. Huh? Wait, no! Interact with the hosts you're listening to right now online at GCNlive.com. Click on the community link. Engage with other listeners. Ask questions. Start debates. Don't agree with the host? Let them know. Be a part of the community at GCNlive.com. KDArmor.com is your one-stop shop for the most affordable body armor period. With packages starting at $169.99 and free shipping on every order, Katie offers soft armor and rifle threat rated armor up to level 4. Go to KDArmor.com and get your body armor today while you still can. Mention this ad and receive a free tactical scarf for a limited time with any body armor package. That's KatiArmor.com. Come and take it. This is Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. Hey, it's Free Talk Live. You can join us on the radio waves here. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We've got Skype as well. Skype username tonight is lrn.fm, and we're sharing some uh, basic facts about the user breakdown at the Ashley Madison cheating website, wherein apparently there really weren't very many women on the site 
with whom one could cheat if one was even wanting to, uh, you know, successfully accomplish that. Chris, you signed up for the site just to kind of check it out. You weren't actually in a relationship at the time, and uh, you never ended up doing anything with it because they were obviously scamming you. You you figured that out right from the get-go because before even putting a picture up on your profile or any kind of data, you had received messages from people. From multiple multiple purported women, and I had to pay to read those messages, and I realized at that moment that this was too stupid to even be taken seriously. But apparently a lot of people took it seriously. There are they, lots of stupid people yeah, out there. I'm not surprised. 31 million male, uh, male profiles on the site, 20 million of those uh, according to the database, had checked their email compared to about 1,400 women had checked their messages on the site. Uh, there's more about this. We'll continue it here in moments, but uh, with you in the studio, you've got Ian here. Cecilyn. And Cantwell. Let's go to WebKeys, who I believe is calling us from New Hampshire. WebKeys, you're on Skype. Hello, how are you doing? Hey, you're on the air. Go ahead. Yeah, I am calling you from New Hampshire, uh, and so what I want to talk about is some things that I've heard of on the local AM radio lately, uh, particularly on the station WBZ, uh, which is an AM station. Uh, it's so, an all-news station out of Boston. Correct. Yeah. Uh, and they, I believe, are, are owned by Forbes. Um, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure WBZ is a CBS radio station, but go ahead. No, you, actually, no, you, uh, I stand corrected there. Uh, I listened to both of those stations. There's, there's another station. I don't know what their, their call sign is uh, that is owned by Forbes. Huh. Um, but I listened to both of those on the way to work like every day. Um, and my my topic that I wanted to talk about was the economy and the recent uh, spike in, uh, in volatility in the stock market and in just various markets okay. recently. And my, I, I really wanted to ask you guys a question about – what you think, or well, how how the, you think that uh, relates to the U.S. dollar, Bitcoin, uh, silver commodities? Are you asking how the stock market uh, fluctuations this week relate to other economic indicators? Yeah, yeah, uh, particularly. I have no uh, idea. <laughs> Well, I can't I, we'll I take can, a crack. Yeah, I mean, I can chime in. I mean, look, the, the stock market has uh, experienced a, an extraordinary amount of vol volatility. I have not checked the, the market today, so I don't have any information on what might have occurred today. But, you know, it, it had dropped. The Dow Jones dropped like a thousand points, and I, and I believe that it rallied right. and, it, and it made up those gains. Um, I, yeah. The last I checked, there was a rally in China as well. There's still a, a great deal of uncertainty in Europe, but things seem to be stabilizing over there, whereas some of us were looking at this and we thought we were going to see quantitative easing round four or something. Right. Um, so, you know, whenever you have those 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 things, usually what happens, and I, and I was about to try to pull up the gold price on my phone, but I didn't have it. Usually when that happens, you do see uh, commodities, gold, silver, that sort of thing go up. Uh, we saw Bitcoin. Uh, take a take a nose dive, but that was sort of unrelated to yep. the stock market. That was because there's there's a, a potential for a um, there's a great potential. We were discussing this. The Bitcoin yesterday dive happened before the stock market thing, and it and it it seems that it's coinciding with this split in Bitcoin, this yeah. uh, schism, if you will, some controversy within the Bitcoin community about the future of Bitcoin. I would say that's probably completely unrelated to uh, what happened. In the stock market, but again, I'm no you know monetary expert, I, I, and nor I do I think really, a monetary expert really knows a damn thing about this anyway. Gold is think, at 11:33, a spot announced. I think that it is actually related, uh, and it does have uh, a great deal of impact on cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin and, and commodities, silver and stuff like that. I uh, I spent some money on silver probably like five years ago, and I made I made some I made a profit on. Uh, on investment of that, uh, when it was down, you know, both below, below when it went up to 40, you know, 42 or whatever the, where the okay. top was. Um, but my, my real concern here is that there's a lot of liberty minded people who might not be, um, up, up to the times on what the actual, the, the, the economic situation is well, in terms yeah mo most most libertarians i i would say are not um terribly economically astute right i mean they're, they're yeah. they have uh, some ideas that they don't like the government to get involved in the economy and and that's you know a, yeah. that's a fine thing to understand but you know very few of them i think are you know watching the stock market and commodities i don't care about that crap yeah 
Well, I think it's something to think about, though. I mean, it's, it's information. and Why? It does... What good is thinking about it going to do? There's a lot of good in thinking about it. We started, we sort of started to go into this, you know, yesterday on Radical Agenda when you were in there. I mean, there's it's an economic indicator, right? So if you're trying to, um, if if you are concerned about the future of the economy, you think the Federal Reserve is maybe a little bit dangerous, right? I mean, yeah. you can have economic collapse, like terrible, horrific things can happen. Yeah. And if you see that coming ahead of time, then you can pr prosper financially. And it's sort of like good if we have money and resources available to us. So I, I mean, if, if paying attention to the stock market is not necessarily like the thing that you feel like doing then by all means don't do it but i i, I can't understand how anybody could ever look at it as irrelevant i mean it's one of the most relevant things that's happening it's not relevant to me when it has it, no effect it, on it, my it, life it has a huge impact on your life because if the stock market goes down and it doesn't come up then they start with the quantitative easing again and that's going to inflate your money supply and they can't but does, it doesn't matter i've already got gold and silver and bitcoin so you know i could i could understand if somebody had all their eggs in the basket of the dollar that yeah they would be subject to whatever manipulation the government wants to do to that dollar. Well, and that's and not the only thing. the stock market could be an incentive to manipulate the dollar. Well, I see where you're coming it's, from. It's an incentive to manipulate the entire economy, and you get these huge regulatory things that go on. I mean, the, the, the bailouts that happened after the 2008 financial crisis were a huge problem that led to a lot of different things that are, no that doubt. are incredibly detrimental. So to, like, follow these things, especially as a talk radio host, I mean, it's sort of good for you to be informed It doesn't matter to things. me what the hell the damn Dow, Dow Jones number is at. I mean, the, 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 like I said, I've got alternatives to the dollar, right? So if the stock market goes ahead and crashes to uh, 5000 from 15000 it's not going to do anything to my investment in gold or silver. Maybe those prices will go up. It's, I'm not going to go out, run out, and buy more silver just because the stock market crashed or something like that. Well, I mean, if, if anything, I, the, so there's right, no fine. guarantee either, right? Like, just because the stock market crashed doesn't mean that the silver price is going to go up the next day. Well, can it, I, it, can it I, would can tend I jump to in indicate. here a little bit? Yeah, jump can in. I, okay, so um, what I'm trying to get at is that there's a, a time and a place to to capitalize on. Uh, cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin and stuff like that and silver or whatever um, and it's important to think about when to do that and um, right well, now if you're in for this like day-to-day -day trading stuff I'm into no, Bitcoin no, for the I'm long term about the lo I'm talking about the long term and, and for the lo I agree like for the long term cryptocurrency and and uh, uh, commodities like silver like that that's that's good stuff to be into for the long term and so I might Right, so why should I care about what one day, you know, the stock market does one day versus the next? Because it <laughs> triggers government policy. It's it's a thing. They're going to do that anyway. I don't have any effect a, on that. But you also have a, you you have you have an impact on that. You're a talk radio host. Your your whole entire purpose of being here is to be a propagandist. You're well, supposed to here's be talking what I would about say: stay the, the hell out of the stock market. That the governments are doing. Is that a good? I, that's not necessarily good advice to stay out of the stock market, right? I mean, there's a I'm lot of value get that can into be created the stock there. market at all. I'm not saying get into that or anything. And if anything, what I'm hearing from these talk radio people is that. Uh, that, that that commodities are very uh, low priced right now, and uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are are maybe undervalued right now. So maybe this is a good time to get into it. Um, it might and, be. I don't I don't know that it's I don't know that anybody has enough information to say Nobody whether does. cryptocurrency is undervalued. That's an emerging market, and that's part of the reason that there's so much instability in it. Um, you yeah. know, we do see. I think that we see a little bit more price stability in it because of uh, the, the the more payment options, putting currency back out onto exchanges more frequently. When if people you consider buy, three hundred to two hundred dollars uh, price stability, I don't it, think it, so. It, it beats two hundred to twelve hundred. Okay, fair enough. Hey, thanks, uh, WebKeys. I appreciate yep. hearing from you no here tonight. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Look, I mean, maybe I can be persuaded as to why I should care what the Dow Jones does one day to the, ne the next, but that is yet to happen. This message is for home intruders, the cowards who break into people's homes to steal their hard-earned property, criminals who shatter lives and rob people of their privacy and security. Listen very carefully. We're the home security experts at LiveWatch, and we're taking you down. Because we're letting everyone try our newest home security system for one full year in their home. To take advantage of this amazing offer, call now, 1-800-670-9259. LiveWatch has been helping protect homes for years, and we've learned the secrets that intruders like you don't want people to know. Criminals, it's time for you to be afraid, because every person who calls will be protected against cowards like you. To the criminals listening, we're taking you down. 
To those who want to help protect their homes, call the security experts to try the LiveWatch security system. There are no long-term contracts, and if you're not completely satisfied, you can cancel at any time. Try LiveWatch now by calling 1-800-670-9259. That's 1-800-670-9259. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. You are an individual with your own thoughts, decisions, and actions. So why should you be penalized for not enrolling in the subpar health insurance mandated by the government? Be truly independent. Visit libertyoncall.org. Libertyoncall.org is a bold, innovative alternative allowing you to take back control and make your own decisions about your health care. Mention this ad when you call to learn more. 800-714-6993. That's 800-714-6993. Libertyoncall.org. Call today. By now, you know the smart way to buy emergency food storage is calories per dollar. Ready Supply Foods sells you 50% more food for your money. GMO-free, 25-year shelf life, great tasting, and free shipping. You need 2,000 calories per day under ideal conditions. Most 30-day kits don't have enough calories to sustain you for more than a week. They just don't have enough nutrition to do the job. See the comparisons for yourself at ReadySupplyFoods.com. We are the new leader in value and quality. Go to ReadySupplyFoods.com today. It's time to build your own emergency food stockpile with the industry leader, My Patriot Supply. Once you try them, you'll know why so many Americans like you have made them part of their emergency preparedness plan. Experience the My Patriot Supply difference today with this unbelievable offer. Right now, a four-week food supply is only $99, and that includes free shipping. That's 50% off the online price. Call 800-274-3070 to claim yours. Limit two per caller while supplies last. This offer isn't available online, so you want to make sure and grab this opportunity to get prepared today. 800-274-3070 to get your four-week food supply for the incredible price of only $99, and it'll be shipped to you completely free. Call 800-274-3070 right now. That's 800-274-3070 to claim yours while supplies last. Don't wait. Call today. There are hundreds of silver products on the market today, but there's nothing like the astonishing health benefits of the multi-patented One Silver Solution. Boost your immune system at a great price with our Silver Solution Liquid, starting at $12.95 a bottle, now available in regular and extra strength. That's half the price of the leading competitors. Call 844-USE-SILVER for your free catalog or go to onesilversolution.com, onesilversolution.com. There is only one Silver Solution. You're listening to Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live. You may join us here in these remaining moments. We have enough time for you. If you want to get on the lines, the toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. With you tonight, it's Ian, Cecilyn, and Cantwell. And if you care about your privacy when you're online, you need ProXPN. It's a virtual private network that encrypts your online data, so not even your internet service provider will know what you're doing with their own internet connection. You just go and get ProXPN. You can start now for free at ProXPN.com. And they do it right, offering OpenVPN, the gold standard of network encryption. They've got apps for Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, and there's Linux support as well. Plus, unlike those other guys, ProXPN keeps no logs of your activities whatsoever. And now ProXPN has more servers than ever before, giving you greater speed and security. They'll take credit card and even Bitcoin. You can get 50% off the regular monthly price for the lifetime of the account when you buy an annual account with our code FTL50. That's FTL like Free Talk Live and 50 as in 50% off. And that can end up being cheaper per month than a good cup of coffee. You keep hearing about your online privacy being infringed? Go to ProXPN.com right now. Use code FTL50 and take back the privacy that is your right. ProXPN.com, code FTL50. 
So uh, further thoughts on the stock market. Cecilyn, uh, you know, do you pay attention to this stuff? No, not really. Why not? Because it doesn't generally affect my everyday life. Because at some point the government is going to collapse and the money will be inflated and all of that. That's yeah, you why. can pretty much predict inflation, right? Like the government is going to inflate the currency. There's no doubt about that. Uh, to what extent? Well, that's the question mark, right? Are they going to inflate it uh, a small percentage or 600% like they are in Venezuela right now? Uh, so, but you can, you know, one thing you can count on is they will inflate the uh, the money supply. That's a that's a guarantee, no matter which government you're under, no matter where you uh, where you live. Well, I mean, it, they're, they're, of course they're inflate they're going to inflate the money supply. That's how the money money supply works, right? I mean, we have we we are at uh, near zero percent interest rates right now, the federal funds rate, and since there is inflation, that's effectively a negative interest rate. They're actually paying people to take money. That's 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 inflation. That's a pretty serious thing. One of the things that was going on before. Um, this 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 dip in the stock market was the Federal Reserve was was entertaining an interest rate hike, which a lot of people have been saying like you have to do this. This is a very important thing because if you um, if interest rates are a thing that they use to manipulate the economy, they they lower the interest rate in order to accelerate the economy. It's like putting the foot on the gas, right? But now more the, the, people will borrow at a lower rate, right? right? And and that's supposed to stimulate economic growth, but there's no like real savings in America at this point, which is a pretty serious problem. In any case. Um, you know, a lower interest rate indicates to a sane market that there is that there is money saved, right? So mm -hmm. if if there's a lot of money saved, then lots of people are ready to lend, and thus the price of borrowing will be very cheap. But that would be in a market that was free, whereas now it's manipulated, and so a low rate is just the government screwing with. You. Exactly, and but but the, the, that's why you have what we call the Austrian Austrian business cycle theory. So what happens is the Federal Reserve lowers rates, and then people borrow this money and and make all these capital investments, which are not based on the the thing that the signal is supposed to indicate, right? The, it's, the people don't have the money saved, and so when you're making investments based on the assumption that people have money saved, then you then you have what is known as malinvestments, and that's what these bubbles are. And these are they are seriously catastrophic events. And if we can, even if it's if if it's for no other purpose than to talk about it on the radio, I would encourage you to look into these things because it is very very important. When the when when they do these things and we have these economic collapses this is what, what we're describing with the stock market right now is exactly what happened that caused the great depression the, the wall street crash of 1929 also known as black tuesday the great crash or the stock market crash of 1929 began on october 24th 1929 and was the most devastating stock market crash in the history of the united states when taken into consideration the full extent and duration of its fallout the crash signaled the beginning of the 10-year great depression that that affected all western industrialized countries so that's a pretty Pretty significant thing that if a if a if a phenomenon in the world can cause a ten year Great Depression that affects all Western industrialized mm -hmm. companies uh, countries, then that's that's a, actually like a pretty significant thing. You're saying no how does this affect my real life? I'm well, not I saying just told you no that it's going to bring about the Great Depression. No, look, I'm not saying that it, there's no significance to it. I'm just saying that day to day paying attention to the stock market does nothing for me whatsoever. Nothing at all. All right. And, you know, look, if the stock market crashes and the world goes, the uh, United States spins into a, a second Great Depression or whatever, again, paying attention to the stock prices is still something I'm not going to do in that particular case. I'm going to make sure that, you know, you got enough uh, food or whatever you need to have to get through this, that get time through frame. 10 years of economic destruction? Do you have that much food in no, your house? No, absolutely not. So, you know, at some point we'll have to figure something out. But uh, you know you're not going to be able to sock away that kind of food anyway, even if the uh, you know even if the stock market does crash. And if the stock market crashes, that doesn't necessarily mean a depression is is immediately around the corner, right? I mean, it came back, didn't it? Well, it it, it came back. <laughs> you know, the, you, you, the Great Depression only lasted a decade. So no, I meant the know. stock price or the, uh, the Dow Jones price. Generally, during the Great Depression, I don't think that well, the it stock market back, right? did come back this time. Yeah. If the stock market goes down and it doesn't come back, then governments begin doing really wacky, crazy things no that, doubt. that can be very destructive. And I'm not, I'm not saying ignore that. Well, we would certainly talk about that. Well, you would talk but, about that, and you would talk about it from a position of having absolutely no concept of what led up to it, right? So, what what good what uh, good is your analysis? You <laughs> what good is your analysis of a phenomenon if you have no idea what led up to that phenomenon? That's why I've got you here, Chris. Yeah, that's you can right. pay attention to that crap for me. Yeah, I just would watch my mouth on Twitter, I guess, so I can give you economic analysis. <laughs> you can pay attention for everybody. 
Uh, Toll-free number tonight, 855-450-FREE. Let's continue here. Actually, we missed a call from Siberia. Maybe we can get that guy back on. Uh, The Ashley Madison hack. This from Gawker, I believe. No, excuse me, Gizmodo is uh, where this is from. We actually had a piece from Business Insider which sort of summed this up, but it was a very, very short summation, and there's a lot more... I think really interesting detail in the story. And and that is about this website with all kinds of fake accounts uh, on it with what were supposedly 5.5 million profiles marked female, but only about 1,400 of them ever having checked their inbox in the Ashley Madison cheating website. Now, it's also a matter of public record, this according to uh, Gizmodo, that some percentage of the profiles are less than real. A few years ago, a former employee of Ashley Madison sued the company over her terrible work conditions. She claimed she'd gotten repetitive stress injuries in her hands after the company hired her to create 1,000 fake profiles of women in three months written in Portuguese to attract a Brazilian audience. The case was settled out of court, and Ashley Madison claimed the woman never made any fake profiles. Still, there's a clause in the Ashley Madison Terms of Service that notes that Some people are using the site purely for entertainment and that they are, quote, not seeking in-person meetings with anyone they meet on the service, but consider their communications with users and members to be for their amusement, unquote. Mm -hmm. The site stops short of saying these are fake people, but does admit that many profiles are for so-called amusement only. It's kind of interesting uh, revelation from the terms the, of service. The, the truth of the matter is, and I, I, I'd be surprised to find out that you didn't have the exact same phenomenon with Plenty of Fish and OkCupid and, and Match.com and all of these things, eHarmony, whatever. Uh, but I imagine that some when of those sites will actually let you send messages without having to pay them. I think eHarmony, you you do have to be a paid eHarmony, member. eHarmony, you do. But uh, okay, OkCupid Cupid and Plenty, Plenty of Fish, Fish are essentially free services which you can pay to get advantages over your right. competitors. Um, but the the idea being, when a dating site starts off, it's always going to create fake female profiles. They do that to get the men onto the site, and then hopefully, you know, real women gravitate towards the site at some point and start talking to the real accounts, which are male. Based on this evidence, we've got some clear indications many of the profiles are fake. But to find out how many, however, we have to dip into the company's non-public information contained in the data dumps. The question is, how do you find fakes in a sea of data? Answering that becomes more difficult when you consider that even real users of Ashley Madison were probably giving fake information at least some of the time. But wholesale fakery still leaves its traces in the profile data. I spoke with a data scientist who studies populations and told me to compare the male and female profiles in aggregate and look for anomalous patterns. My analysis had to be entirely based on the profiles themselves, not the credit card data. There's no such thing as a paid account for women because women don't have to pay for anything on Ashley Madison. As a result, I couldn't use paid account as a proxy for real, the way analysts have done with the male data. Plus, the credit card data doesn't list gender, so it would have been impossible to be certain of gender ratios in the credit card information anyway. In the profile database, each Ashley Madison member has a number of data fields, including obvious things like nickname, gender, birthday, and turn-ons, but the member profile also contains data that is purely for administrative use, like the email address used to create the account, and when the person last checked their Ashley Madison inbox. Now, you want to dig in further into this story. There's a lot of really interesting uh, info in the full story here. I will post that to our Facebook and Twitter. Uh, It's from Gizmodo. And if you want more Cecilyn, check her out on Facebook. Facebook. Slash. Cecilyn. C-E-C-E-L-Y-N. ChristopherCantwell.com for more Chris. And then we'll see you tomorrow night online between now and then over at freetalklive.com, where I don't know what percentage of the profiles are fake. You figure that out. It's Free Talk Live. If worse comes to worst, will you be prepared? You don't have to be a survivalist to prepare for the unexpected. Storing necessary supplies like food, water, and emergency equipment is simply taking responsibility for a 